Hello, hello. You converted. That's cool. I didn't know that was a thing. Hi, Josh. Hello, hello. Welcome back to the stream. My name is Elsium. Hey, what's up? And I forgot to turn on my little my little doodad person. So let me get them turned on real quick. That sounded weird. Okay, here we go. Yay! Here she is, Miss America. <laughs> Hello, good morning. M oh, wait, how'd you say morning again? Magandang. It's not Gabi. Gabi's like at night. Umaga, Gabi, Hapon. Hapon is afternoon. Gabi is night. Umaga? Is that morning? Uh, I don't remember. Anyway, yes. Uh, my goal this week is to stream every single day, uh, except yesterday. <laughs> I meant to stream yesterday, uh, but I clearly did not. So, uh, yeah. Uh, today, I was kind of thinking, like, hmm, what can we play today? So, I want to play Fall of Porcupine. So, that's what we're going to play today. Um... If you don't know about the game, it's a platformer. It's, wait, let me click on it. Let me see if I can. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, where's where's a synopsis? Store page, let me read. Let me read. Fall of Porcupine is a unique story, collision of work and daily life, an exciting reflection of an unhealthy healthcare system, experience the exciting story of Finley and his friends in a lovingly illustrated world, and uncover the darkest secrets of Porcupine and Ooh. its residents. Wah. 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 Welcome back, JYRZ Streams. <laughs> 22 months, Porcupine? Not Hedgehog? Blasphemy, Jired Serm Puffer. <laughs> we probably can't chat much, but I'm here in spirit of the mouth. <laughs> yeah, I changed my setting, so it'll it'll say the stuff now. Okay, well, thank you for being here in spirit. I hope work goes well today. Um, hopefully lots of sales. And man, I wish I had some of that lemonade right now. Sheesh, lemonade is good. It is good. Shall we? I don't, you know, I bought the game a while ago. Like a while ago. Um, let's see. November. <laughs> November is when I bought the game. How do I make the AI voice say in a, do, oh, how? Oh gosh. Uh, I mean, I think it's only when you sub. So I don't think you can have it say things over and over again. Fortunately. <laughs> you probably could make it say inappropriate things. Damn, I waste. And maybe I shouldn't say that. No, I don't think it will say inappropriate things next month. <laughs> or maybe subscribe and then maybe we can see if it says bad things. No, I'm kidding. Please don't do that. Please don't do that world. That would <laughs> be bad. Ugh. Okay. So we're going to play the game. Oh, I got to fix my chair. I figure I will try. Oops, I'll try to do streams in the morning. <laughs> Evil face. <laughs> uh, I'll try to do streams in the morning. Because um, I actually have to do things throughout the day. Like I need to clean and do. Oh my god, that's so cute. Wait, you're missing it. Oh, oh it's loud. Oh, she's loud. Okay, wait. Ugh. I need to steam. Oh, I need to fix that. That's also huge. Ah! Sorry, wait, wait, wait. It's loud. Oh my god. Oh, it's loud. Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. Oh my god. Oh my god, my ears. Ten <laughs> percent. Uh 
general? Oh! Crack. Accessibility? Ooh, dyslexia mode. That's interesting. Simple mini games. Nah. Controls? Oh, I don't have a controller. Okay. Okay. Yay! So we're here! It's still kind of loud. Beep. How do I? Oh, okay. How's that? We'll adjust as we go. But yes! This is Fall of Porcupine. Um, yes, so last year we played the prequel, which was Last Days of Summer. So we played a little bit of that. And now we're going to play this. So let me fix my face. And I'll adjust where I go in a bit. Because I don't actually know where I should put my... I don't know where I should put me. <laughs> okay. Fix this, fix, fix, fix. Cause it's gonna bother me. Okay. Beep. Okay, that's fine for now. Okay, shall we? Ooh. Pretty spoopy. Fall of Porcupine is a story set in a healthcare environment. It contains plot points that deal with issues relating to stress, illness, death, and self-doubt, among other things. Please pause the game if you feel unwell and consider contacting family, friends, or a professional for support. Well, that's nice. <gasps> Look how cute it is. It's so cute! Oh, I'm so happy. I'm excited. I'm finally starting this game. <laughs> Oh my god, what just happened? Interesting. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Okay, I think I can move now. Okay. To the right. Interesting. This is the main character, uh, Finley, I believe is his name. He's a he's a doctor doing his residency, I believe. Oh, can I go back? I'm not glowy anymore. <laughs> oh no, I'm glowy again. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Woo, there I am. Hello. Oh, I don't think I'm awake. <laughs> I think this is a dream. Hey, Finley, you're finally awake. Uh, how do I next? Just enter? Click? Um, Uh-oh. I can't move. Is that on purpose? Oh, I pressed E. Why the, why the long face? Oh, nothing. I, I just wasn't expecting to run into my house plant. <laughs> <clears throat> Who did you expect? Your washer, maybe. By the way, we gotta talk about her. The way my pot vibrates when you set her to spin... N n no. N I don't know. I think I'm looking for something. Oh, really? What would that be? I have no idea. But it was important. And I think I've lost it. Well, if you don't remember, I couldn't ha it couldn't have been that important. I'm sure it can wait, buddy. You think so? Of course. Come on, relax. J 
just take a look at this meadow. Bask in the lush grass, soak up the sun, and groove to the soothing tunes, dude. How can you worry when you see that? Yeah, it's good to be out in the sun. I'm not sure I hear any music, though. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Better? Mm, yeah, I like this. <laughs> Kuyo Mundo. Just let your leaves dangle. Just let your worries take a hike, man. Yeah, yeah. I should do that. I just need to relax a little bit. Great! That's what I want here. Lost things just turn up eventually. So go find yourself a comfy spot. Make yourself at home, my man. I might. I'm going to have a little look around. It's so beautiful here. I want to pick my spot carefully. The choice is all yours. Just relax your frazzled feathers. That's the main thing. Enjoy, Spino. Interesting. I didn't expect it to start like this. Can you come back out? Can I talk to you again? Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh! Oh! Oh, now you tell me, E? Don't you think I would have. You should have done that, like, back there when I was confused at how to talk to people? Sure. Well, hello there, hombre. We meet again. Oh, it's the same thing. We meet again. How's your relaxation coming along? Did you find the person you were looking for? Ooh, let's see. It's going... Oh. It's going quite well. It's really nice here. I don't have a clue what you're talking about. Person? What? Oh, don't mind me. Ain't this place sweet? We're all having a great time, aren't I right? So, what are you going to do now? <laughs> I don't know yet. Who's the big guy behind you? What? Oh, him? That's Hugo. We went to university together. He's great to climb around on. I used to do that all the time. He won't let me anymore, though. Not since I had aphids. <laughs> <laughs> Want to give it a try? Mm, sure, why not? But I don't, don't think I could get past that giant flower. Hold on, we'll have that sorted in no time. <laughs> so, teaching us to talk to people in order to get around something, I guess? She no problemo. No problemo? The whole ground was shaking. Hugo's quite ticklish. You need to be careful when you climb on him. Oh, is the, is the audio too quiet now? Maybe it looks a little too quiet now. Maybe I'm too loud. Are you like that? Maybe I could turn myself down a little bit. Maybe turn it down in my ear. Okay, how about that? <clears throat> okay. Let me do a thing real quick. Okay. Uh, what are we at? Okay. Fifteen something. Okay. Uh, and don't break any of his leaves off. He prides himself on his great foliage, you know. All right. So I don't really think I need my mouse for much when I'm actually in game. Oh, space. Oh, I see. Hey, 
Yo, Finster! Up here! Oh! How'd you get all the way up here? I'm a plant of many talents. I'm not allowed to climb here anymore, so I had to come up with another solution. What do you want to do? <laughs> this tutorial mode. I don't know yet. Maybe I don't. I want. Uh, maybe I want to dive into that water. For real? I know you're going to chill, man. Besides, that looks mighty deep. I think so. Yeah. Maybe what I'm looking for is down there. I just want to check it out. Well, whatever floats your boat, chief. I'm more of a partial shade kind of fella. Besides, I'm prone to overwatering. Right. Alright, I guess I'm jumping. Goodbye! <laughs> That's funny. That sound was like in the left side of my ear. What? Bounce. Okay, I'm swimming. Okay, if I let go. Interesting. Alright. Hello, plant. Oh. <laughs> you know me. Uh, I never pass up on a good thing. Are you freezing? I'm g going to catch a c cold. Then you need to take care of me. Go shopping for me. To do my taxes. The water's lovely. I don't know what you're going on about. No. I don't like water. So you want me to stop watering you then? That's different. You wouldn't get it. It's a f flower thing. Actually, m maybe we could get out of here? All right, all right. Oh. We need a porcupine. It's that fish. Oh, it's a flower. It's a flower. <laughs> Ooh. Hello, Jer. How are you? Do you think I should be on the left side? I feel like maybe I should put myself on the left side. And then let me... <gasps> I feel weird on the right side. That's why. Okay, flip. Vertically. God dang it! <laughs> I always do that! Why do I always do that? Okay. Vertical and then horizontal. Horizontal, please. Oh, nope. That was wrong. Come on. Flip. There we go. Gouda, just doing some works. How are you? I'm good. I'm also Gouda. Um, I'm supposed to be doing some work. <laughs> but I'll just do it after I stream. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, I need to move this. There we go. <laughs> I decided I want to stream every single day this week. Except for yesterday. And I can't do Saturday. <laughs> so all, all week. Weekdays. <laughs> uh, it's a stat statue from the town square. Are you in charge of the water here? Can you hear me? I'm looking for something. Maybe you've seen it? No response. How rude. Oh. This is interesting. This dream sequence we're doing. The Finn Miser! There you are! What took you so long, bud? You're looking better again. Hey, who can be down when you're down at the beach? That moment when the excess water disappears and you feel the first tickles of psycho oof, psychokinesis. <laughs> Photosynthesis kicking. There's nothing like it, man. 
I just can't get enough. <laughs> I forget everything around me. Who are you again? Finley. You live at my place? Pina gave you to me. You're from her flower store. Finley, fondly, dingly, dongly. All the same to me right now. Oh, yeah. This place seems kind of familiar. Have you been here before? Maybe, but not like this. You sure do have some strange thoughts, mister. So, have you found what you're looking for yet? No. But I don't think I'm actually looking for something. I'm looking for someone. Well, congrats! You found someone! Your very best flower, buddy! Now kick back, grab a cold one, and sink into the sandy embrace, dude. We haven't had a vacation in forever. I... I'll be right there. Maybe I'll find who I'm looking for here on the beach. Alrighty, but don't get sunburned. I ain't no aloe vera if you catch him my drift. <laughs> Alright. See, little town, porcupine at the bottom. Can I go down? If I just keep going, oh no, it makes me go up. So porcupine. Go down this way. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. I have to bounce up. Oi, <laughs> Nako! That was so loud in my ears. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me know if the audio's, uh, how the audio is also, Jer. Got louder here. Oh! Ingrid, nice to see you here. Do you happen to know where... Where Mr... Arn... Arndez? Arndez? Where Mr. Arndez is? Mr. Arndez. Uh, I was looking for Mr. Arndez. I want to say Andres. <laughs> it's good? Okay, thank you. He's a patient of ours. And he disappeared. I was taking the elevator. And something went wrong. I have to find Mr. Arn Arndez. <laughs> His name is... is is a is a hard to say for me <laughs> otherwise something will happen to him sorry ingrid you know how much i enjoy our conversations but i've got a feeling something's happened to mr arndez we'll catch up again soon i promise that's right so in the prequel there's no going any further here. Why does it smell like blueberry pudding in here? Interesting. So at the end of the prequel, because we were actually trying to find this patient, we, f we found his body, I believe. We found his body, and then we got whacked in the back of the head, and then everything went dark. And so that's from my memory is where we left off. Mr. Arn... Arn... Arndes. Arndes? Arndes? <laughs> Has to be here somewhere. Hello? Mr. Arndes? Can you hear me? And then we found... We find, like, blood or something. 
Like a trail of blood, I think. Yeah, 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 right there. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Hello? Is someone there? Oh. There are boxes full of documents and folders on the old hospital bed. Strange place for an office. I guess everyone has their own take on interior design. The bed almost looks like a na Oh, you know what? I bet I was supposed to go into that room and this is what I say in the room. The bed almost looks like an actual desk. Maybe I should... <sighs> There's someone back there! Mr. Arndes? Arndes? I'm just gonna say it like that. Is that you? Let's see if it'll let me go back to the room. So I'm pretty sure I can... Oh, I can't. Unless I can't anymore. Okay, well, that's been lost. Can I sprint? No. See? You see the blood on the floor? Oh, it was talking about this being the desk. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So I guess I never was able to go in that room. That's blood. It's still fresh. Jeez. <laughs> this cute game is so creepy. <laughs> oh, the body! Ah! Oh! Mr. Arn... Mr. Arn... Arn... I can't say his name! Mr. A! You're bleeding! Don't move! Uh, who... Who are you? Just stay calm. I'm going to help you. Is anyone there? We need some help here. Hello? Oh! Okay. And that's where the prequel ended. So we've caught up. <laughs> we've caught up. Uh-oh. 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 I. Good morning. E. St. Ursula's Tasks. No tasks available. Okay, how do I go? Okay, escape to go back. Mom. Let's see. Oh. I click and drag down. Or I can scroll up. Uh, hey, did you get there okay? You didn't let us know. Hi, Mom. Sorry, the move was pretty hectic. But we're done now. Starting to unpack my boxes. That's great. Hope you enjoyed Porcupine. We'll come visit soon. Let us know if you need anything. I'll do that. I promise. Thank you. Good luck at work. Thanks. A little nervous. Hope my word is nice. Ca cafeteria, of course. You're going to be a great doctor. Very proud of you. How'd it go? Hey, it was really cool. Also exhausting. Uh, straight to bed. Uh, some downtime. Bye. Good night. Not heard from you in ages. Everything okay? Hi, mom. Yeah, everything's fine. Just lots going on. Sorry. Works hard. I feel I don't have time for anything else. I'm just going to read through these real fast. Vacation. Oh, uh, we're on vacation. It's sunny here on our way to the beach. Okay. So that's why we had a dream about the beach because our mom went there. Uh, it's fall, still quite warm. You can do work. Me and Carl work on my ward. Nice. No reception all day. Hope you're home. Oh, back home now. Take a break. Take a break. Um, sick days. Blah, blah, blah. Fine. Nothing serious. I can be on the next train. What do you need? Oh, you have someone to do shopping for you? Oh, it's bump on the head. <laughs> and scheduled break. <laughs> Clearly, I read too f too fast. We'll <laughs> we'll head upstate. <clears throat> Your son is nine years old today. He has something he'd like to say. He's been practicing all day. Philip, take it away. Hey, daddy, daddy. Oh, I'm just kidding. We're not gonna get in the whole thing. <clears throat> no, me neither. We'll do, mom. Thanks. Okay. Caught up on that. Pina. Uh. 
Pina here. Thought I'd text you so you'd have my number. How's it going? Uh, we're keeping you busy. Hey, definitely calm down soon. How are things at the store? Oh, Pina. Pina. <laughs> daddy, daddy, look. <laughs> I am a poem. Or I have a po poem. No, I am a poet. Write this poem just to show it. And I just turn nine. You could write rhymes, but you can't write mine. Is that the lyrics? Anyway. Store. Arguing over here as the prettiest leaves again. Okay. Okay, plants, maybe. Apart from that, I don't know what's going on. Thanks again for taking me out today. Hangover was really nasty, but fresh air did me good. Sure. Th oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, we went drinking with our buddies, and the next morning we were supposed to hang out with Pina, and then they were like, yeah, come out. We'll do it. And then the, my guy was like, oh, okay, I guess I'll go. And then we went out hiking. That's what we did. Sure thing, hee hee. We can do it again when you've got time. I'm always going up to the woods anyway. Plants are my job, you know? Sure, let's do it. Hope things are better with you. What? What happened? Box fell on my head. Got a nasty cut. Whoa, Finley, you need to be more careful. Do you need anything? Nah, I think I'm fine. Okay, well, I'll be driving through town again in a few minutes. Is it okay if I just stop by and bring you something, by the way? Um, all right, what is it? A gift? <laughs> Uh, okay. Sounds intriguing. Thanks for stopping by. It was really great to see you. Thanks for the little plant, too. I'll take good care of it. Oh, the little plant. Oh, the little plant. Okay. So the dream we had, the dream we just had was after the box hit us and after we went to the hospital and after we came home. Uh, regular light, not too much water, and empty the, sh the sash. Sash? Sachet? <laughs> Sacket? <laughs> I don't know words. I uh, gave you... Oh, satchel. Empty the satchel. I gave... I knew I knew that word. I uh, gave you another soil. Three days from now. Crazy you didn't have any plans until now, by the way. I can't imagine what that's like. God, I'll remember. Okay, Carl. Oh, thank God. Carl's is a lot shorter. Hey, Finley, here's my number. Feel free to come to me for any questions you might have. Oh, yeah, Carl's like a nurse. Um, Yeah. Yesterday was fun. You're a cool guy. Let's go back to Gilbert's next time. Our R Rhoda's lineup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, he's one of the guys we went drinking with. Yes, it was fun. He, he, things got pretty heated, though. Yeah. That's normal. You get used to it. Hey, Finley, how's your head? Hey, Carl. Sorry, my head's a bit throbbing. How's the war? Sorry, I'm off work so soon after starting. Don't worry. Could have happened to anyone. Besides, you were only trying to help me find Mr. A. Still feel bad about it. Forget about it. Order yourself a pizza instead. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mia. Hey, Finley. Dr. Krowowski. Korowski? Dr. Korowski asked me to send you my number. Need my number. Me too. Get well soon. I just heard what happened. Should I be worried how bad's the injury? Thanks. Don't worry. I'm fine. I'll just rest up for a few days and then I'll be back at work. Hope... You're not going too much. I hope you've not got too much work covering for me. I can read. Uh, don't worry about that right now. Just be careful in the future, okay? There's a lot going on on our ward right now. Anyway, you just get yourself healthy again. Consider it done. Good morning. Glad you're coming back to work today. Maybe we'll have time to chat. Then you can finally tell me about what happened. Okay. Oh, okay. This, this, these are the character descriptions. Uh, Mia started as an intern on the same day I did. First job, too. But I'm impressed by how much theoretical knowledge she has. Yeah, she's very good uh, with knowing her stuff. But I don't, I don't think Mia has good bedside manners. I think that's what her character was like. Carl's a nurse. He approached me after talking directly to Mr. K. He's been at St. Ursula's for a long time and knows his stuff very well. <laughs> very happy with him. I've known. He took me to Gilbert's. Cool. Pina. I have Pina on my way to work. She's very nice. Has a flower shop at Porcupine. She's first real contact here. And Ingrid. <laughs> Ingrid's photo. <laughs> oh, Ingrid. Uh, today I entered... Uh, a hospital as a resident for the first time. Inger welcomed me and roughly explained everything to me. She's the heart of St. Ursula's. I'm just concerned about how her snacking and about her snacking and coffee uh, uh, consumption. It's funny. Well, I guess that's it. Help. 
Nothing. Uh, oh. Okay. Well, that's it. Dang. Right in the middle of his forehead, too. Man, another of oh, those weird dreams. I feel really groggy. Feels like I haven't slept at all. Maybe I should just give up sleeping altogether. <laughs> I like how chillax he looks, though. Like, his foot <laughs> is all just, like, moving. Has his arm behind his head. Looks like he should be in a hammock. Hey, new game! Yes, you. New game. I'm getting my gaming out of the way first before I start all my tasks. <laughs> okay, nothing else for it. Time to get up. What a dream. Wake up from Finley's nightmare. Oh, there's the plant! There you are. Just standing there in your pot as if nothing happened. You've given me quite the restless night. It's alright for you. You don't have to go to work. If I find beach sand in your pot tonight, there'll be trouble. <laughs> this is funny. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> you missed it. My voice for the plant was... Wait, boy. He's like, hmm, do you remember who you're trying to find? <laughs> I think I used to game with my roommates every night when we were in university. She always kicked my butt in the one-on-one -on -one Viking battles. I figured I could treat myself to some gaming after work. Fat chance. I haven't touched the thing since I moved in. Sounds like somebody else I know. <laughs> oh, oh, that's cool changed I got a heap of mail when I first moved here porcupine isn't big but it's still kind of nice a bus timetable a seeing sightseeing guide and a trial subscription to the daily newspaper maybe I'll become a newspaper reader one day then I can buy a pair of glasses like Ingrid's oh oh I guess that's the exit Nice. Okay. So. Talk to you? Nope. Oh. Some people have a bakery within walking distance. Or a grocery store. I have a used clothes container. Different, but just as practical. <laughs> Ooh, this is like Night in the Woods. You know what is like Night in the Woods? Um, but it's not by the same people, which I thought was interesting. I'm pretty sure it's not by the same people. But hello, Nick. Hope you are doing well today, sir. Okay, I don't know exactly which way I need to go. But... You know, I, I'm getting the feeling I should have gone right. <laughs> Oop. Man, that stinks. Either there's standing water in there that's been there for years, or it's home to an evil clown with <laughs> a terrible halitosis. <laughs> Someone seems to have set up a fishing spot here. There's a note on the camping chair. Dear readers, time and place are two loose threads that don't always come together. Some call it destiny. I call it chaos, order, life. And you, seeing this note right now, are a part of it. Consider yourself lucky. But please, don't sit in my chair. <laughs> I'll know right away if you take my place. Regards, F. Looks like this is already reserved. Do I? I do! Oh, I can't. <laughs> Can I sit in the chair? Dang it! <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Poop. It's kind of nice watching the trains chug off into the distance. Seeing a train always makes me want to go traveling myself. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, okay, we're not going to let you go left any further. Oh, there's a train! Oh, we just missed it.
Yeah, I don't know what's too spooky about this game quite yet, except for the fact that it looked like somebody was trying to kill a patient and then get rid of me in the process. It was almost a murder most foul, I tell you. A murder most foul. Oh, bike. Can I take this? GTA? <laughs> that bike's been there ever since I moved in. So either someone moved and forgot it, or it's not biking season here. If it's still here come winter, I'll take it with me and get it fixed up. What? You can't just decide that for yourself, dude. <laughs> oh, look at that dog. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Morning, Finley. Running late? Oh, so, well, I guess Susie could have that voice. Hey, Susie. Yeah, I had a restless night. Crazy dreams. Oh, yeah? I know what you mean. Most nights I don't dream at all. But sometimes I dream that I'm running, just on the spot, for no reason. That's definitely, or that definitely comes from work. I hear Louis Colbert's having trouble sleeping too. He's worried about the store. People just don't buy as much stationery as they used to. I mean, I'm not complaining. Less for me to carry, right? Are you doing your rounds already? Come on, you know me better than that. I'm finished already. I'm just wondering what to have for lunch. Lunch? You really have an odd route. Well, the post won't post itself. True, but I should. Post myself to the hospital, that is. Don't let me stop you. Don't get lost now. That's what happens when you don't know what the... T uh. <laughs> I'm reading too fast. That's what happens when you don't know the town as well as I do. <laughs> it always seemed right to make a, a, a lab sound very energetic. All right. Can I wait here? Oh, no, no, no. I need to go this way. There's a note here. Unfortunately, the citizen's bus is out of service until further notice. We ask for your understanding. Look on the bright side. With fuel prices the way they are, walking's a better option anyway. We hope to see you traveling with us again soon. Suits me just fine. Why did I buy a monthly pass if the bus only turns up once a month? <laughs> <laughs> sit in it i find it hilarious that a dog is also the male person <gasps> oh my god wait yeah right <laughs> actually <laughs> uh so this i think goes to the flower store and then i think this is where i need to go so <laughs> so oh hey kid road's still closed can't let you through here so how do I get to see her? Why is it real close? Is that you on the poster? It's okay. Is that you on the poster? You're trying to insult me, buddy. N no, I'm just saying. Watch out. I'm not standing here because I love dust and drills. And I won't let newcomers... <laughs> My go-to is just freaking Irish or Scottish. And I won't let newcomers like you sass me from the sidewalk. Alright, sorry. I didn't mean it that way. I should hope not. The guy in the poster looks nothing like me. Y yeah, you're right. Who'd confuse you with that guy? Only someone who needed their eyes tested. That's what I'm saying. Let's, say, let's ask why it's closed. <clears throat> Construction work today. We're building here. Stones, wood, steel, cement. <laughs> ah, I see. So what building is? Yep. Someone like you wouldn't understand. Okay. Oops. Oops. Okay, I'll look for another way. Yeah, you do that. Okay. Looks like a little shrine, this thing. It's like, hey, we're building here. I'm like, ah, uh, okay. Go with New York. <laughs> we go up. We go up, up. All right. Woohoo! Oh. It's so clear. You can see the glow milk woods from here. I like this morning air in the fall. Too bad I don't have more time. I wouldn't mind grabbing a coffee and eating my breakfast here. I concur, sir. I concur. Yep. 
Oh, I guess this is where... I think we took the bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we've taken the bus before. Oh! You look like a character I could talk to. Ha! What is your fast walker? Are you being chased by a rolling boulder? Good morning. No, no, I'm just running late. Late for an appointment, is it? You know, the more time passes, the less I believe in the idea. What idea? The idea of being late. Are you new here? I've never seen you before. Yes, actually, I just started at St. Ursula's Hospital a few weeks ago. So you're a doctor? Yes, well, almost. A junior doctor. That's marvelous. People like you just uh, are just what Porcupine needs. My name is Adele von Witterstein. I'm Porcupine's oldest citizen. I've seen many people who come and go. Some were in a hurry. Some have stayed to this day. You, I'm guessing, you're a hurrying type. Am I right, Doctor? Yes, but only because I need to get to work. Well, one should never throw rocks into rushing rapids. But when you have a moment sometime... I know a lot about this town. You can always ask me if you have any questions. <laughs> I might just take you up on that. Thanks for the offer. I see it as my calling. But for now, full steam ahead. There are younger folk than me to keep alive here. Uh oh, getting in trouble. As as I meet. Okay, well, I'll read those later. <clears throat> oh! Oh, this is the bar! Good morning, Guiliano. Guiliano. Long time no see, Finley. <laughs> yeah, I was laid up in bed for a while. Or as much. Band-Aid gives you away. <laughs> Everything good with you? So hard to do these voices, man. I'll be alright, yeah. I'm sure you will. You want to cool... You want to cool that lump on your head with a nice cold drink? Just come by anytime, okay? Thanks, Guiano. I might just take you up on that. <gasps> Guiano. There's a statue. That's the big town fountain. It's a statue of... Ninoslav... Honoratus? 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 Founder of Porcupine. What's up, Nino? Isn't the w <laughs> Why isn't the water running? Seems to be broken. Seems to be broken, sir. Do, 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 going to work now. Working, working is where I need to go. Do 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 La da 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 di da 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 di da da ba da di da boop This rust this rusty old truck wasn't here last time I came to work. It's locked too. Suspicious. What are you hiding, rusty old truck? Treasure, perhaps? A dead body? Maybe even ten dead bodies. Is there super secret agent? Agent. Alien technology inside you? Are you the truth of all things? The answer to the great questions of the universe? Come on, reveal your secrets! <laughs> Why is there a bike and like... <laughs> a TV looking thing in that? I wonder if I make a comment on it. Nope. Alright. Gotta get going, gotta get going, go, 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 go. Plaque on the tree. This ancient bark has stood here since the foundation of the town. Nino, the founder of Porcupine, planted it himself. He was known to misplace and lose things. He reached this place after wandering for 100 days. He founded the town and built it, built himself a house. 
and on the day he wanted to move in, he lost his keys. Forty days later, he found them on this very spot. Sounds like something I would do. <laughs> I like how that's the takeaway. St. Ursula's. Really gotta read this? It's this way. Wow, thank you. Thank you, Finley. I would not have figured that out myself if I were not to have read that. Kind sir. Good morning, Mr. Bus Stop. I love to have been hopped off here some time ago. Coffee in hand, nice and relaxed. Well, maybe tomorrow. You can't slack off every day, Mr. Bus Stop. <laughs> Finley's kind of like me. I do that. Okay, I'm not going to stop to read the sign. St. Ursula. Okay, well, maybe I'll read this one. This statue is out here every day. From dawn to dusk, come rain or shine. It's never complained. How do you do it? Regular sleep, probably. Balanced meals. Exercise three times a week. Okay. Well, a guy can dream. <laughs> he looks a little drunk. <laughs> All right. We are finally at work. But do we go into work? Nay, nay. Ooh, open window. Interesting. Okay. I should really get to work. <laughs> uh, that middle car was different, I'm pretty sure. All right, let's go to work. Woohoo! We've been gone for like a week or so, right? I guess. Beep. All right. Vending machine. Good old vending machine. Handy source of breakfast or an end of shift reward. Of course, it's been broken ever since I started here, but hey, it's important to have consistencies in life. Still, I wouldn't say no to a Chaco dog right now. Every morning. <clears throat> Every morning, they gleam through the glass laughing at me. Just like they've been doing since before I was even born. And still we will be after... We'll be... Ah. And still will be long after I'm gone. They'll outlive us all. Thousands... Oh my gosh. Thousands of years from now. Alien beings will dig up this vending machine. What was this machine's purpose? What primitive symbolization civilization created it that's what they'll ask themselves perhaps with their advanced <laughs> technology they'll be able to actually get at the tasty treats you've got a long way to go vending machine Woohoo! yay morning kiddo so you're back huh morning ingrid yes my injury is healing up nicely now i heard about your accident of course Everyone's heard about it. Everyone wants to know what happened to you up on the fifth floor. <laughs> yeah, me too. You want to hear my theory? All right, go on. This might sound a bit complicated, but the evidence speaks for itself. I've thought it through several times and it all makes sense. So what do you think? I've only known you for a few weeks now. <clears throat> but it must have something to do with you specifically. Really? What do you mean? Well, we have a name for that kind of thing here in Porcupine. A sophisticated, technical term that aids to define the social and anthropomog <laughs> anthropological characteristics of the phenomenon. What? The term is... Klutz. <laughs> I just wasted my voice on klutz. <laughs> just kidding, kiddo. Hey, hey, hey. How's Mr. A? The old duff is still alive. Making himself cozy in his bed on your ward again. <clears throat> Whew, okay. That's glad to hear. You've only been here a short while. But because of that night, people know you now. You're the boy who lived. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> but seriously, 
People might still have questions for you. Just so you know, better be prepared. Anyway, my coffee's getting cold. And you need to swing your butt over to the ward. On the third floor in case you dent in your noggins cause more damage than we thought. I know where my ward is. That's good. Hop to it then before Mr. K rips your head off. You're right. I'll get going. Ugh. That one did a number on my throat. Ingrid, why'd you have to be a smoker? <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Someone I could talk to that's running. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Hello. Oh, this is just the stairs. Go down here. This leads down to the basement. I think that's where the lab and document archives are. And loads of dust, probably. I can already feel a sneeze coming on. Okay, I guess it doesn't want me to go there. <coughs> Ugh. Note to self, don't do Ingrid's voice like that. Uh, we have to go up to the third floor, I think? Surgical ward. Stop by here another time. All right. Shall we, shall. Shall we, shall. Shall we, shall we, shall we. Okay, let's just get to it, huh? I've already lollygagged enough. Ooh, can I talk to you? No? Okay. Aha! Oh, Finley, half an hour early. That's refreshing. Just what I like to see. Really? I'm early? Really? Of course not. You're horrifically late. Again. Let me guess. The bus didn't come. Yes. I'm sorry. I... The bus is unreliable. It cannot be trusted. Find a way to get here on time before we decide we cannot trust you. Got it? Y yes, got it. Sorry, Dr. K. If it's not too much trouble, we'll start rounds in 301. Can I talk to you? All right. Let's get to doctoring, shall we? You know, I got my gra my my degree from Dr. Google University, so I am well equipped with the knowledge. Uh, so here's Miss Martin. Good morning. You're very late today. Tell me about it. Miss Martin's in a hurry to get home. That's a good sign. But you still need some rest. Okay, Miss Martin. Okay, Miss Martin came to us yesterday with pain in her upper abdomen. She was also complaining of heartburn, nausea, and loss of appetite. Yes, but the real reason was a sharp pain in the heart. I panicked and called the emergency doctor. I was in so much pain I could hardly move. That was exactly the right thing to do. Anyone have any ideas? Mia? Me? Well, come on, spit it out. Oh... Yes. Ulcer? A uh, stomach ulcer? Is that a question or your answer? My answer. <laughs> Bingo. The reason for the symptoms is a stomach ulcer. We still have to investigate the cause. So far, there is no indication of gastritis or anything along those lines. Okay, Miss Martin, we'll probably keep you here more one more night. We'll check your readings again later. Just try to relax. Finley, you'll take care of Miss Martin's medication later. Let's continue to room 303, chop, chop, look sharp. Can I talk to you? I can. Ouch. Okay. Oh, of course, I can't jump in the medical ward. It would be unsightly of a doctor to be jumping about. Uh, we gotta go 303. Oop. Wrong button. Can I? Hmm. Can I change? General? Guess not. Hmm. Okay. Doesn't look like I can. I would love to not. I would love to not have to press E. Well, Larissa, how are we today? Quite okay. Doctroski. <laughs> Doctroski. It's good to hear that. 
Can you take a few deep breaths in and out for us? Like last night? That's right. Careful. Oh, they're coughing. Sorry, doctor. No problem. That was very, very good. How's it going? Do you want to tell the other doctors why you're here? Yes, I can do that. See, they say Dr. K. I can say Dr. K. Well, I was down at school with the others. We were at the back of the skate park. <laughs> can't, stake, uh, can't skate that well. Just got to the board for my birthday. But I, uh, maybe this is not an older woman. My board is super cool. Has green wheels and grip tape. It's all black and brand new. I've heard other skaters scratch their board up on purpose to make it look cooler. I don't get that. My board has a big picture of a robe on the bottom. It's way too cool. I don't want to scratch that up. Very good, but what were but what were you all doing down at school? Well, my brain is not happy. Ah. Well, uh, it was like this. My buddy Christo stole some cigarettes from his stepdad. He said if you want to be a good skater, you've got to smoke too. It's all part of the deal, he said. I really didn't want to, but I didn't want to be a chicken, you know? I was still out of breath from practicing. He lit the cigarette and I took a drag. Oh, I wonder if he has asthma. Super gross. I don't, I don't get why grown-ups seem to actually like those things. Anyway, I took a drag. Then all of a sudden, I couldn't breathe. Coughed and coughed and couldn't get in any air. Then I passed out. Luckily, my friends called an ambulance quickly. So yeah, that's it really. Explained it all very well. Well then, care to share your opinions, my valued colleagues? What do you think, Finley? Um, I know. Dr. K already told me. Don't give it away, Larissa. Oh, okay. Sorry, Dr. Trotsky. <laughs> asthma. It could have been an asthma attack. Yeah, asthma sounds logical. Indeed, logical and correct. Haha. -ha. I could have been a doctor, you know. <laughs> Without the help of my sister, Larissa, we're going to have fun with it. Hee <laughs> hee. Good, Larissa. Keep doing your breathing exercises, but don't overexert yourself. <clears throat> you got it, Doc. Okay, last stop is P33. Oh, and Finley, you already know this patient. It's Mr. A. I assume the name rings a bell. Mr. A, yes. He's a permanent guest on our ward. Mr. A is an old timer. Even discounting his recent injuries, his head isn't in the best of shape anymore. So act accordingly. Uh-oh. That does not sound good. He is now permanently here. Mr. A, Mr. A, I need to help you. Mr. A, Mr. A, P33, Mr. A. Okay, I have to wait. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Get here, get here, get here. I want to go in, I want to go in, I want to go in. <laughs> Mr. A! Oh. Who is this? Everything will be alright, Mr. A. This matter is very important to me and I'll ensure it is resolved. Ensure it is resolved quickly. You can rest assured of that. Ah, oh, Dr. K. Nice to see you. Good morning, Mr. Heinrich. What do we do the what do we owe the honor? Why, Mr. A, of course. Heard he was on the mend. I have to say, I'm very relieved. The poor gentleman's been through a lot. This incident has been a great concern to us over the past few days, as you know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a beard under that character's mouth, but it looks like teeth. I mean, it could be teeth. <laughs> I know that, yes. I've been sweating blood myself. The whole thing is rather unseemly from an insurance perspective. Oh, you know what? That might be teeth. Like... I mean, it, co it covers the character, but right here where the line is, and there's like the two little bloop bloops, I think that might be teeth. See what I mean? Uh, very worried about a patient, of course. And let's not forget our junior doctor here. I hope you're back on your feet, ready to throw yourself back into the fray. Yes, I'm doing well. Thank you, Mr. Heinrich. It's great to have you back. Truly, I admire your dedication. 
It goes without saying that I don't blame you for the accident. Nobody does at Saint Ur nobody at Saint Ursula's does. Saint Ursula itself is responsible for this accident. As such, we will be taking personal responsibility for the matter. I've arranged for Mr. A to receive the very best treatment available. And that's why we've secured him a place in the best rehab clinic in the country. He'll be well looked after there, around the clock. The rest will also help with his age-related dementia. Speaking of which, I'm glad I bumped into you this morning, Dr. K. Oh, really? Yes, indeed. Would you do me a favor and assist Mr. A's condition later today? If you can discharge him with clear conscience, let me know. Then I'll arrange the transport right away. Understood. I'll take a look and let you know. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, then, I won't keep you any longer. All of our time is precious. <laughs> oh, and if you need any extra hands on your team, I'll see what I can do. A healthy infrastructure is essential. We don't want our staff overworking themselves and calling in sick. Good luck. Here's to a successful day. <laughs> yes, anyway... Good morning, Mr. A. You know, my daughter looks exactly like you. Yes, yes. Well, isn't she the lucky one? How are you feeling today? I just told you, didn't I? I'm afraid that must have been before I got here, Mr. A. Well, what are you doing here, then? I'd like to find out how you're doing and take a look at your dressings. When's lunch today? Straight after this. Okay, then. Go ahead. Finley? Hmm? Yes? Mr. A suffers from dementia but is still relatively fit, as you can see. He injured his leg as a result of the aforementioned incident. He also suffered a moderate concussion. Finley, would you be so kind as to change Mr. Andres? dressings. It's important to keep them dresses fresh. We can also take a look at the wound. You are me, yes. Uh, he can't be any worse at it than you. Alright, I'm doing it. Good morning, Mr. A. I'm very pleased to see you. Hmm? Do I know you? <laughs> yes. Maybe? There was an accident. Do you remember? I want lasagna today, but hold the salad. I can't stand all those leaves. Mr. A? Finley, what are you doing? Do you want me to bring you some tea and cake? All this stress has been hard on Mr. A. Now let him rest and do your job. I just wanted to... Okay. I need tea. <laughs> My throat starts to hurt. Patient is in your hands. Press and hold buttons shown on the screen to administer... Oh. Oh, God. I have to type! Okay. Both hands. Oh. Shoot! T. P. I. C. V. A. W. R. Z K H mm. That was hard. <laughs> Look at that. The dressing may be rather average, but I'm happy with the condition of the wound. I'll be back to you later to read your readings. Check your readings. But there's a chance we'll be able to discharge you very soon. Well, be nice, Miss Korowski. Doctor. No, no, I'm not a doctor. I'm just an absent-minded old fool. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, we're done. Mia, Finley, come with me and I'll give you your tasks for today's shift. Mm, grim, crack, grim, ream, blubber, blubber. Mm, sorry? Sure you are. Well, time for me to get back to work. My jam won't make itself and I can't be late tonight. Get well soon, Mr. A. I wish you the best of luck. Hmm. Makes jam, I guess. Makes jam, I suppose. Oh. 
All right, what are my tasks? Back to full health, I trust. Yes, all good. I'm glad to be back at work again. In that case, I look forward to a smooth shift. I'll activate today's tasks in your app. The walls are crumbling, but they still find money for digitalization. I still don't believe these electronic patient records. But Heinrich and Theobald won't stop singing their praises. We've done a test run and some updates, so all the wards have to use this app now. The data protect protection benefits are indisputable, but I haven't seen any evidence of it saving us time yet. Anyway, just open the patient app on your smartphone. Everything else should be self-explanatory. All right. Downloading today's schedule. All right, so. <laughs> All right. The file tells you who to treat and what they need. Child's play, really. Any questions? I don't think so. Then you have everything you need. Report back to me when you've completed today's tasks and make sure you don't collect any more band-aids on your face by the end of your shift. I'll keep an eye on your work and evaluate it. Do try to make an effort. So I gotta give medication, do a checkup, and do some band-aid dressing, I guess. I have medication for you. I have medication for you. Hello. There you are again. Nice to see you again, Miss M. I'd rather we make it somewhere else next time. Yes, I prefer that too. How are you? Oh, you know, I've been a little restless lately. Sometimes it feels like I can't breathe properly. I have bad stomach pains. Do you have heartburn? I always have heartburn. Had it for years. Yes, a stomach ulcer is no joke. I've been through a lot of stress in the past few months. I've had a lot of arguments with my daughter. And my job's got me pulling my hair out. I'm very sorry to hear that, Miss M. Do you think the ulcer is stress-related? Mm, no, I don't think so. In fact, you're very unlikely to, de to develop an ulcer just from stress. It's true that stress isn't good for the stomach, though it can give you heartburn. Can you do anything about it? It's lucky you came to, to see us so early. That's good. Last night's test showed you have a bacterial pathogen in your stomach. That's probably what's causing the ulcer. I'm going to start by prescribing you some medication. Whatever you think will help, dear. All right, let's see then. All right, let's see then. Uh, try to get all the patient's readings to their optimum level using as little medication as possible. Each time they two different readings. Once you've, you're satisfied with the medication you've chosen, sign the prescription. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Ah, okay. So I need... Oh. Oh, shoot. Oh, wait. Huh? I need... How do I undo? <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, so I need... That to lower. This one? No, we need... Oh, God. I think I messed up. Uh... Oh, trash! Uh... Trash. Trash. Okay. So we need orange. We need red to go up. So... Okay. Do that. Do that. And I need... Where is blue at? Oh, blue's on... Blue is... Oh. Oh, wait. Did I do it? Oh, yeah, 
yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did it. Haha. Didn't even realize I did it. Treatment complete. Hey. I think you kindly. All right. Well, that should have you feeling better in no time. Someone will come and give you your medication before lunch. Until then, try to get some sleep. Yes, I should rest my eyes. I was up all night with pain. Okay, we'll soon see you later. Thank you and good night. Lovely. All right, let us go see Larissa. Larissa, Larissa, la la, Larissa, Larissa, la la, Larissa. I just have to check on her breathing, it looks like. Hey, Doc. What's your name? Hey, Larissa. I'm Finley. I'll be examining you over the next few days, okay? Nothing to worry about. Okay, whatever you say, doctor. I like to listen to your lungs. You mean you want to put that freezing cold thing on my chest? I'm afraid so. But don't worry, it's not that cold. I don't know. Actually, I guess it is a bit cold most of the time. But it'll only be for a moment. You think you can manage that? Yeah, okay. Shall we get started? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, jumping hearts, rattling lungs. Press the button shown on the screen. When a button appears at the... Hold. When a button appears at the top or bottom of the line. Blazed. Okay. Oh. Literally said was. <laughs> I didn't realize I had to press the button. Okay, well, that is what it is. That really was only cold for a second. Hee <laughs> hee. What did you hear, Doc? Not much, because I messed it up. Nothing too bad, Larissa. But there was a faint rattle. A rattle? Like a musical instrument? Yeah, kind of. I used to play with one of those in my school orchestra, but I didn't swallow it. I promise. Actually, I think it's your body that's rattling. Is that bad? No, don't worry. Have you heard of asthma? We'll get this under control. Have you heard of asthma? Have you heard of asthma? We'll get this under control. I mean, she has heard of asthma. Let's put this one. Yes, I've heard of it. That sounds bad. Can you die from it? Do you think I have asthma? Will I die from it? No, no, don't worry. It could be asthma, but we're running some more tests. And if it is asthma, then there's nothing to be afraid of. Pr promise? I promise. Okay. Try to make yourself as comfortable as possible here. I'll check on you again tomorrow, okay? Sure thing. Oh, well, that could have gone a lot better. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doo. Oh. And now we gotta do some more bandages, I guess. Good morning. <laughs> Miss Helmig. You've just had thyroid surgery. How are you today? I'm very thirsty. Talking and swallowing are difficult. That's very understandable. Please take it easy then. Drinking can be a little tricky when you've just had surgery. But once the wound has healed a bit and the swelling has gone down, it'll be fine. You'll be on your feet again in no time. That would be. I'd hate to have to spend the last good days of the year stuck in here. We'll make sure it doesn't come to that. I'll change your dressings and take a quick look at your sutures. U, I, O, C, B, shoot, B, M, 
M U H G O E E J K I'm so bad at typing. Whoo! Looking good so far. Everything seems to be all right. Try to talk as little as possible and drink a lot. Okay. Lovely. Yay! Let's go home. <laughs> let us go home. Let us go home. Hello, friend. Dr. Kilowatts. <laughs> Krokowski. All done, Dr. Krokowski. Good, good. How was it? Pretty good, I think. All right, let's see. Ah, oh, Sag. Average performance. That's unfortunate. I advise you stick at it and improve your work. Watch, listen, and most importantly, gain practical experience. I'll continue to monitor your progress. Who knows, you may still surprise me yet. Okay, I have another task for you. I'm giving you the opportunity to save me some time and get to know the hospital a little better. Sure, what can I do? I need you to go to the lab in the basement. Just keep following the stairs until you get to the bottom, the door's on the right. But you can also take the elevator if you like. I've seen some blood. I've sent some blood samples to Doctor Hal Halil, Halil, and need the results. Can you manage that without injuring yourself again, Finlay? As long as the stairs don't collapse underneath me, I should be okay. Well, let's all keep our fingers crossed then. Off you go. I need those results today. Lab, basement, Doctor Halil, got it. Wonderful. Let's take the elevator this time. <laughs> so cute. Oh. Oh. No smoking sign. I'm guessing that's Dr. Krokowski. Hospital archives. No one knows what treasures they hide. Treasures made out of old moldy paper if the smell is anything to go by. That and 40 years of stale cigarette smoke. Locked. Hello? See the red light above the door? That what? Uh, yes, I see it. Good, good, excellent. Well then. So I'm here to... You see the red light, don't you? <laughs> yes, I see the red light. A red light usually means something like very busy, prohibitive, negative, no access, or simply no. But I need the blood results urgently for Dr. Krakowski. Dr. Krakowski, is it? I see, that does alter the parameters somewhat. Do you want to see a magic trick? I'm not sure. Yes, yes, of course you do. Pay attention. Ta-da! Wonderful, isn't it? And I haven't even stood up yet. C can I go in now? What do you think? You see a green light, don't you? <laughs> Red means very, very busy. Wow, this very bright in here. Okay, who was I talking to? Ah, mole. <laughs> Alright, here I am. Whoa. What are you doing here? I was outside the door. I was just talking to you. Fascinating. And? And what? The light. Was it green? Yes, it was green. Excellent. Look, I need the blood results that Dr. K asked you for. Ah, indeed, indeed. So why are we wasting our time chatting? Follow me. I think I have your results around here somewhere. Thank God. 
Slow and steady, my young colleague. I don't want to end up tripping over my own feet. Oh. Now, where are we? Where are we? Ah, yes. Documents you requested should be just here. You keep your documents in the blood refrigerator? Of course, saves time when matching them to the samples. I'm a great believer in shortcuts, you know. The day becomes so much more efficient if one reduces the distance between A and B. My system is simple, and it cuts down on sorting and filing work, too. And now, you can... And, <laughs> and now, you, too, can benefit from the fruits of my diligence. Well, if that's all... <gasps> oh, no! Oh, horror! What a mishap! That bang made my heart jump. My whole system. I... Let me just put things right and... I'll be all right again in no time. Oh, woe is me. Can I help you? What do you mean? You want to help me? That makes me very uncomfortable. Oh, that happens. Let's see. Just a minute. Why do the samples have different colored lids? That, my dear doctor... That's my sorting system. <laughs> it looks complicated. On the contrary, it's easy as pie. Each sample has a sticker on the lid. Each sticker has four different colors on it. Some of the samples fell out due to the, due to the accidents. Others have gone turned around, so they're not facing the right way. You need to turn the samples around until all the same colors are facing each other. When four samples are positioned, um, I feel like a mini game is about to happen single colored square. Once all the samples are facing the right way, you'll be able to see where the samples fell out in slot. It's quite simple. Okay, got it. You're very smart. Alright, let's do this. Oh, what a disaster! The samples got mixed up, but you can fix this. Q and E to rotate the flask. A flask is in the correct position when the colors of all four segments use E and that. Okay. Q and E. Okay. I need a green. So it needs to be a red. Red and a green. I think maybe this one. Oh. Oh. Maybe at the press. So I need this one. Blue, yellow, blue, yellow. This one's got to be orange. Oh, no, no. This is orange, which only leaves this one. sound effects are loud. You see? Fantastic, isn't it? My system is infailable. Infail Thank you for your efforts. I better get back to my work. Um, Dr. Halil? Was there something else, dear doctor? The results for Dr. Krakowski. Oh, right. Right. Dr. Krakowski. Why didn't you say? You know, I'm always happy to help, but I only have 24 hours in my day. Here you are. With my flawless system, I always have everything to hand. Enjoy! And please don't forget to close the door behind you. One needs to hear oneself think, don't you know? Okay. <laughs> well, that was a lot. Alright, red means do not bother. Whew. Okay, maybe I need to fix the suffix 
suffix that's not it. The sound. I feel like they're just so loud it hurts my ears. <laughs> trying to do it the fast way. What was up here again? Or Ooh. It's scary up here. Hmm. Doesn't even tell me. Jeez, well now I feel like I can't hear anything. Okay. Oh my gosh, is it really that low? <laughs> Hello, Krakowski. Blood results. Why'd it take so long? Did the bus to the lab not turn up? No, I had to help Dr. Halil sort his samples. You had to help him? Yes, I... Do you see Dr. Halil here, tending to the patients on the third floor? No, you don't, because that's not his job. St. Ursula is a finely tuned machine. If one cog fails, everything grinds to a halt. Call it a day and take some rest. Maybe you'll feel, feel a bit more up to speed tomorrow. See you tomorrow morning, right on time for the start of the shift. And try to concentrate a bit more when you're administering your treatments. Got it. Have a nice evening, Dr. Krakowski. Talk to you some more. Relaxing evening, Finley. Wee! Floor. Bathroom. Ward bathroom. If you're lucky, it's clean. Sometimes you can hear faint whispering noises coming from the stalls. I've been told that's completely normal. All right, let's get going, shall we? Shall we, shall, the shall, shall, shall. Boop, 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 boop. Let's take the elevator. Yes, I would like to use the elevator, please. Am I supposed to have music right now and it's just like turned really down? Okay, don't think so. Another day done. Any trouble getting back, back into the groove? You are only off sick for a few days. It's only been a few days? Oh my god. It's funny how quickly you forget something sometimes. We go. Yeah, just the way I'm sitting real quick. Okay, how's that? Whew, that makes my back feel better. Okay. I don't know, things didn't go too well today. Trouble with Dr. K? I don't think she likes me. Liking ain't got nothing to do with a sweetie. Dr. Krakowski doesn't tolerate mistakes. She's a tough cookie. So make an effort, kiddo. Who knows? You might even learn something. I'll do my best. Have a nice evening, Ingrid. Yoto. See you tomorrow. <laughs> oh my god, I really can't do that voice. Alright. My gosh, it's so dark. Yep. Wow, you can really see the stars out here. I'm not even trying. The bus won't come. Will I ever see it again? <laughs> like, my thing is, like, where does that bus go to turn around, you know? 
Oh, wait. Wait, wait, sorry. I'd like to adventure, you know what I mean? I want to see if there's anything at the back of the back of the hospital. Because earlier they were like, oh, I should really get to work. Oh, the window's closed. Interesting. Oh. I just can't go this way. Oh, okay. So, whoever parked here is gone. We didn't run into um, our one friend. Or not a friend, but the uh, no. The ram dude. The narse. wonder if it'll fast track me home. Now that would be lovely. Or not. That's fine too. <laughs> Whenever you lose something, it comes back here. I go up this way? Talk to you? This evening, isn't it lovely? The warm air that's still... Oh. The warm air that still has a little bit of summer left in it. The golden fall sun is slowly going to sleep. Ah, how wonderful. I feel the need to say something profound. I think I'll resist the urge though. Yeah, that other person's already got you. Already got you covered. Anything on this again? Still- Oh! Oh my god, that scared me! Oh my god, that was so, that was so loud! <laughs> oh my god, that scared me! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh my god, that scared me! The sound's already down. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like my heart was gonna have a heart attack. Jesus. Take it easy now. I don't want any trouble. I should probably leave. Jesus. Oh my gosh, that literally hurt my chest. <laughs> oh my god. That person is not happy I was there, I'll tell you what. What you got to say this time? Really is broken. Or maybe they just turned it off when winter starts closing in. I hope you don't die of thirst up there. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, it's this dude. This is the guy we got in trouble with. What do you want, pipsqueak? Can't you let me smoke here in peace? Hey, I know you. You're one of the hospital gang, aren't you? One of the little busybodies, pal. You mean Carl? Yeah, that's the one. He needs to keep away from me. Tell him that from me. Okay. I can hear voices coming from Gilbert's. Guiano's probably in full flow already, handing out drinks left and right and center. But I'm too exhausted. Maybe tomorrow. Right now, I need sleep. Oh, he talks to the lady again. Finally clocking off for the day, huh? Yes, at long last. You're still here too, I see. Still? Please. I'm back here. Uh, I'm back? I'm back here. After quite an eventful day. So what now? Off to paint the town red? No, not today. I'm too exhausted. Exhausted? At your age? You should enjoy yourself while you can. Believe me, I used to be a real live wire. A young tearaway. <laughs> I could still cut a rug on the dance floor. Just as long as the music's right. Then I'll have the joint shaking, believe you me. 
I used to be the last one standing every Friday night. I don't doubt it, but I'll have to pass today. Morning shift, you understand. All right, all right. But let me tell you, I'd sleep as much... I'd sleep as much at your age. I'd be even older than I am now. <laughs> okay, goodbye, lady. I got to get home, you see. Very tiring day. Tiring indeed. It's funny because it looks like they have like piercings on their eyeballs. And so it's like off putting. Ooh, let's go check. Oh. The flyers I got when I moved in say people come to Porcupine for the fresh air. That it can re energize your mind and body. I don't know if that's true, but apparently, Porcupine and the Glow Milk Woods in particular are popular with out of town visitors, especially with those with asthma or burnout. Luckily, I don't have either, at least not yet. <laughs> Okay, let's see. I think it's over here we're able to go down, right? Let's see, let's see. Can't go that way. Bus stop doesn't run. Where? Hmm. I don't day is us. All right. I think it's more this way. This is my house right here. Clothing bin. Oh, I must have passed it. Or is it down this way more? Where, oh, where is the place at where I can go fishing? Oh, here it is. See if it's changed. Nope. I'm already gone. I'll be back tomorrow. Until then, just keep breathing, okay? Greetings, F. Good advice. I'll keep breathing until tomorrow. I am already gone. Sit in your chair. <laughs> it's perplexing to me that there's water right here, you know? All right, let's get to sleep. Let's get to the next day. Can't wait to just flop into bed. Off to bed. I want to. I want to be on form tomorrow. I think we'll get. Nah, we'll go to sleep. Good night, world. Nice. Wonder if we're gonna have another weird dream. Oh, it's cute. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> Good morning. I'm alert. I'm up for it. I can do anything. I'm on top of the world. That's what I would say right now if I. I were the kind of guy who cheers himself in the mirror every morning. Luckily, I'm not that kind of guy. And luckily, I don't have a mirror. That would be uncomfortable for everyone involved. <laughs> but at least I got out of bed on time today. That's a huge success in itself, if you ask me. And I've got rid of that awful Band-Aid, too. Almost seven years of studying medicine, and I can finally take a Band-Aid off without it hurting. Maybe I do have what it takes. <laughs> okay. Someday. Yeah. Someday I'll get around to gaming again. Wait for me. Our time will come. Poof. Alright. Let's just get to work today. Let's see if that changes. Oh, wait. You're different. Hey, morning there. Spare a few cents, my friend. Sure thing. Here you go. Thank you. New kid in town, huh? Haven't seen you here before. Yes, I moved here a few weeks ago. Oh, not that new then. Guess we just work on different schedules. 
But put it this way, if you're the kind of guy who likes a shrewd investment, I'm sure I'll be seeing you again soon. You have a productive day now. All right. Time to get to work on time. Time to get to work on time so Dr. Krakowski doesn't hate me. Woo! Yo! You live across the street from here, right? Yeah, that's right. Can I help you? Are you the guy who always stuffs his garbage can full of yogurt cups? Mm, no, sorry. I've never even eaten yogurt. Be glad. I'm on the warpath. Every round I make, I come across this one garbage can stuffed to the brim with yogurt cups. And as if that wasn't absurd enough, almost... Oh, oh my gosh. Most of them are still half full. So I'm trying to somehow get rid of this mountain of yogurt cups in the truck. And all the half full cups come tumbling down on my head. Now I need to get a bus home and take a shower. I'll never get rid of that cherry peach vanilla smell otherwise. I was wondering what was smelling so good around. So the bus is running again? Yeah, I took it to work earlier. I'm not the world's greatest cyclist, so I'm actually pretty reliant on the bus. Do you know when the bus is coming? Any moment now, I think. Where do you need to get to? St. Ursula's Hospital. Oh, you're one of those folks. Your garbage cans are in a class of their own. I was at St. Ursula's earlier this year. Slip disc. Do you know a Dr. Guatera? Hmm, Guterra. I think I've heard the name before, but I haven't met him yet. I haven't been there long. Right. Anyway, Dr. Guterra is a good guy. Showed me some exercises. It's been better since then. Cool. If you see him, tell him Mateo says hi. Will do. Are you taking the bus too? I'd rather walk. I get it. The weather is still nice and the exercise will do you good. Goodbye, Mateo. Still construction down here? Excuse me? Hmm? Yes? Do you know what's going on here? Why is the line so long? Haven't you heard? They're saying today is going to be the last warm day of the year. That means the ice cream shop's closing today. It won't be open again until spring. They always have great deals on the last day of the year. We don't want to miss it. Who knows how long we'll have to wait before we can get a delicious ice cream again. Okay. Whoa, okay, buddy. Not too bad. Oh, we didn't go... <laughs> Hey, are you okay? Are you looking for something? Uh, hello? Trains are great, right? Do you like trains too? I love them. They're long and loud and fast. I wish I was a train. Uh, yeah. Trains are cool. So you like trains too? Sure. Wow. But you know what trains can't do? Swim. That's why there's no trains there. Because this is water. And trains can't swim. Sure, that figures. I think trains should be able to swim. Then I could go anywhere by train. Like an island that's really sunny and stuff. Even though I don't like sun that much. Not as much as trains. <laughs> okay. Okay, pal. Alright, we are almost to work today, almost to work today, almost. Oh, hey! Early starts today? Yep, I wanted to enjoy the walk to work a little more. You can see so much going about the world on foot. New people, but familiar faces too. You can even get yourself a nice breakfast and nibble uh, away on a park bench. Have you had any breakfast today? Yes, of course. I have to be on form for my rounds. People are getting a lot of mail right now. Take the Colberts, for example. A lot of bills. I wonder what's going on there. 
And Adele von Wittersburg hasn't received any postcards for a long time. I hope her pen pal's okay. Hold on. You read people's mail? No, not on purpose. Honestly, I don't. It's just one of the hazards of being a postwoman. I mean, I can't deliver the mail blindfold, can I? Okay, let's talk to von Wittensburg, whatever. There's our young sapling. Young slap sapling? What do you mean? Oh, nothing, nothing. Isn't it a lovely morning? Yes, it's really beautiful. You, let, you look much more relaxed today, too. We haven't had such beautiful fall in a long time, you know. There was once a glittering gold fall here in Porcupine. Do you want to hear about it? Sure, I need to know the backstories, and let me begin. It happened before I was born. My father liked to tell me the story. One year, there was a fall like no other. That was the year Porcupine's first train station opened. The town had never seen so many visitors. There had, hadn't ever been a great year, a better year to visit Porcupine. The weather was so perfect as can be. Not too warm, not too cold. Scent of summer blossoms and fall leaves filled the air all day long. Back then, Porcupine was mainly still a farming town, and this year saw the best harvest in history. Every day, the potato folks pulled out, pull, uh, pulled out of the ground, got bigger and bigger. Blood red apples, pumpkins the size of a small car, the best wine you could imagine. Every day was a feast. No one had any worries. Everyone had their arms about. Everyone had their arms about each other's shoulders. The whole thing lasted for three months. Then from one day to the next winter set in. Since then we've had small eh, we've had fond memories of that glittering golden fall. Sounds nice. I would have liked it. Me too. Me too. Alright. We're gonna be late to work now. Oh, are you here about the fountain? Whoa there, kid. What are you thinking creeping up on me like that? I'm trying to contemplate here. Sorry, what are you contemplating? Take a look for yourself. The old town fountain's given up the ghost. Just packed in. Just packed in the whole fountain game. No splish, no splash, no nothing. You're right there. Any idea what's wrong with it? Not a one, but we'll work it out. We only got the repair contract from the council today. The town normally turns off the water in winter anyway, but they want to fire it up again for the hibernation festival. We usually keep it running until then, and then give it its winter break. But this year, we have to fix it first. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you then. You'd better be off using... <laughs> You'd... You'd be better off using them to hold on and hope this old deer gets up and running again. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Something's got to give. Prepare my ears. There you are again. Closed off, mysterious. I bet someone put an evil curse on you. Person who owned you before was plagued by misfortune, and their only escape was to leave you here. They fled the town, never to return. That's probably it. Right? <laughs> Can I jump on this thing? No, I can't. <laughs> oh. Who just throws away their bike? Where's that vending machine over there? There's so many better ways to get rid of your stuff. Back at university, I just left things on the front of the door. When I turned around, they were gone. Simple. The vending machine's actually full, too. And what's that in it? Choco dogs, of course. <laughs> hmm. 
think it says the same thing. Someone scribbled something here. The shadow child was here. Huh. Interesting. All right. Off to St. Ursula's we go. Weep, 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 weep. And we're not going to fail our mini games today. Good morning, St. Ursula. All right. We are going. Here he is again. Two days in a row without injury. You're getting good at this, kid. Yeah, I'm really proud of myself. You should be. But don't overdo it. You don't want to end up being the employee of the month. I'll be careful. How are things? Doing okay? Depends. You asking me or my back? <laughs> Your back? I thought so. Glad you asked. Nobody else does. They say... There were times when I didn't have a bad back. I say that's a myth. If those times existed, I don't remember them. Discs went 12 years ago now. You had a slipped disc? Three. My gosh. Oh. Yeah. I thought things would be better if I cut back on my nursing job. Stick to the paper pushing. But let me tell you, kid. This rickety chair doesn't make it any better. I'm sorry, Ingrid. Don't be. Just watch your back, kid. You, are, you already look like you'll snap in half at the slightest breeze. Don't let it come to that. Once your back goes, it don't come back easy. So what's the first rule? Lift with your legs? Don't mess it up in the first place? Don't mess it up in the first place. Exactly. You can have that one for free. How's the situation? Pretty busy. But you're on time today. Say, kid, you know your way around the hospital yet? Uh, not that well. I'm not surprised. Everyone gets lost here at the beginning. So let's start here. Right now, you're standing on the ground floor. Come visit me whenever you get a moment. I'm busy, but I'll never say no to a chat. Cafeteria's on the ground floor, too. Sir... Sergei? Uh, Sergei is a pretty good cook, if you ask me. You can also get to the back entrance from here. That's where all the medical waste gets disposed of. Our ambulances and emergency vehicles are parked back there, too. Sometimes people go out there when they need some fresh air. Most floors have access to the stairwell and an elevator. The elevator will get you where you need to go the quickest. If you're in a hurry, the quickest way to get anywhere, blah, blah, blah. You can also use a staircase, get to the other floors. Is the basement. Lab. Just got out of a meeting and almost said bye. Love you. <laughs> she reminds you of the slug from Monsters, Inc., but nicer. Yeah, yeah, that's the voice. That's the voice I gave her earlier, but then it was hurting my throat. I was like, Dr. Halal's quirky kingdom. <laughs> But you've already met him, so I hear. Our central documents, archive, and storeroom are all on that floor, too. All kinds of knickknacks down there. <laughs> <laughs> all kinds of knickknacks down there. Yeah, I can't do the voice. It hurts. Sir Gregor dumps all his junk. Admins on the first floor. That's where you'll find Dr. Theobald and Dr. Heinrich's offices. Surgeries on second floor. Everyone worships the ground Dr. Linwood walks on. Surgeon with the golden hands was recruited specifically from abroad. Now he cuts folks open in our little town. Dr. Portobello and him, they love a good bicker. I hope I don't have to tell you what's on the third floor. I'm pr pretty familiar by now. Yeah, that sounds painful. Yeah. You really struck gold, kiddo, winding up with Dr. Krakowski. Stay on her good side and you'll be a top doc in no time. I do my best. The floor above you is internal medicine too. 
That's more for patients with private insurance. Dr. Guatera and Dr. Kamala are pretty laid back. No bad thing considering how hard-headed some folks are here. So hard-headed some folks are here. You'll find the rest out on your own, kiddo. Thanks for the info, Ingrid. You're welcome. It's never a bad thing to get to know the people around you. Take a look around when you have time. If there's an emergency, you'll need to know exactly what's where. You should drop by Dr. Theobald's office. You want to be in his good books. He's a chief physician, after all. I'm sure he'll love you. Good to know. I'll go see him. You know where his office is? No. His office... I know that. It's on the fourth floor. Oh, first floor on the right. Thanks. See you later. Don't trip yourself up, kid. <laughs> okay. Let's... Cafeteria? <laughs> Boop. Almost left. I couldn't go in here last time. Woo! Hi, I'm... Don't say a word. But... Shh. I just felt the tickle of inspiration. Yes, the sounds, the images. I can taste them on my tongue. This is it, the truth. What is? Carrot, hibiscus, fennel extract. Yes, so it shall be. So what shall be? My next masterpiece... The one that will carve my name in the annals of history. Annals? Annals? An it's probably not annals, huh? <laughs> annals? <laughs> uh, I can't wait. What do you want? Are you here to peel the potatoes? No, I'm just looking around. Nothing's going on in the cafeteria yet. Excuse me? Do you know who I am? I am Serge Mortina. I've cooked all over the world. Tasted every flavor and the earth has to offer. I have every even added my own unique taste to the Pantheon. There is nothing I can't cook. <laughs> wow, that sounds amazing. Is the food ready yet? I could go for a little snack. The instruments are tuned. The stage is primed. Just a few more moments and the expectant, expectant, expectant abundance will enter the hall. This is the day they will never forget. The day what Sergei cooked for them. So I can get something to eat or not? I... Um... Come back later. Won't be much longer now. Okay. Ooh. I remember the... This place was closed during... Wow, this is super long. Um... Cafeteria was closed in the... In the... Uh, what's it called? The other game. Salad bar. Dirty. So dirty for a hospital. <laughs> so we have to... Let's... That is still so loud. Uh, let's get up to the first floor. Oh, yes, we can go inside. Did she say? All the way to the right? Okay, maybe this one? Chief. I'll knock. I'll knock. Maybe he's not in. One moment, please. Oh. Come in. All right, let's go. Oh my gosh. Why are we doing this? What? What is... What is that? <laughs> okay. Ah, this makes sense. He's a chicken. A very good morning to you. What can I do for you? Good morning, Dr. Theobald. My name is Finley. I'm a junior doctor. I joined, I joined not long ago. Ah, yes. I'm glad you stopped by. 
How are you doing so far? Settling in nicely? It's all very exciting, but I'm getting along just fine, thanks. Glad to hear it. It's a shame we're only meeting just now. I always like to welcome new faces. I'm sure you'll do great work here. So Finley, what brings you to good, good old St. Ursula? Was it the views? Love, perhaps? <laughs> you don't have to tell me. I just like to chat, you know? No, no, it's okay. I finished my degree in medicine and wanted to start work straight away. Learn as much as I can and become a good doctor. I studied in the big city, spent all my life there, too. I've never lived in a place like Porcupine before. And I thought a small hospital might allow me to take on more important tasks. That, and I thought the place was nice. Ah, yes, it's lovely here. And how are you finding it in Porcupine? Well, different than I expected. But I haven't had much time to explore yet, to be honest. Hopefully I get a chance soon. Sure, sure. But I won't lie to you, Finley. The day-to-day -day in the hospital isn't easy. The work can be very fulfilling, but also exhausting. Don't let it get you down. If you can do that, I can see you staying with us for a good long time. And if you need anything, please let me know. I do what I can to keep all of our staff happy. Which ward are you working on? I... Unfortunately, I no longer have time to treat patients myself. I miss working on the wards terribly, but my current position simply doesn't allow it. So why the stethoscope then? Oh, this old thing? I just like to keep it with me. I find it comforting. It brings me luck and helps me feel like I'm still part of the team in some small way. Was there anything else on your mind? Any questions, perhaps? Ooh. Dr. Krakowski is one of the best doctors I know. Don't let her get you down. I know you've got what it takes. And Dr. Krakowski knows it too. She just doesn't show it that often. Yeah, maybe that's it. Is there anything else I can do for you? Ah, yes, I heard about that, of course. Don't worry. It wasn't your fault. You're not the first to have a runaway patient here. It happens to the best of us. Even Dr. Linwood had to go look for someone once. And that patient only had one leg! <laughs> anyway, it's all turned out all right in the end. Dust yourself off and keep, it, keep at it, okay? Okay, thank you. Anything else? Okay, let's just get... Let's just read all these. It really is, isn't it? I feel like one of the many years ago. Ah, oh, yes. Is there anything else I can do? About the cafeteria. Old Sergey does a good job. I complained about a dish once. The orange overture, he called it. A bit bitter for a starter, if you ask me. Anyway, I haven't spent much time there since. But that doesn't diminish my respect for Sergey. And I'm a great proponent of healthy feedback. Even the healthiest foods can leave a bitter taste. Anything else? Nope, that's it. Thanks for your time. Good, good. Off you go, then. I'm sure we both have a busy day ahead of us. Thank you for stopping by. We should do this again sometime. Have a nice day, Dr. Theobald. Woohoo! Shelf is full of folders and old medicine books. Wow, I wouldn't mind looking at those. I bet half of the contents are out of date by now. And a gold mine. Oh, and a gold mini golf trophy. Ahem. I received that award last summer. It just so happens that you're standing in the office of the local mini golf district champion. <laughs> and the books aren't that old either. Oops. <laughs> That's supposed to be a portrait of himself. Like, what was that? <laughs> All right. 
I think it'd be best if we just get straight to the office. Oh, to the floor, I guess. Straight to the floor, indeed. Talk to you. Morning, Finley. Hope you have a good shift today. Thanks, you too. My stomach's already growling. I was checking out the hospital a bit this morning and forgot to have breakfast. You're funny. Well, then I hope you have a quiet one today. See you later, Mia. Good morning. Nice of you to turn up before sunset. Have you got your file for today yet? No, I'm afraid not. Well, let's deal with that right away. Some of the beds have already been reassigned. Your tasks for today have been activated in your app. Downloading. Alright. Schedule updated. Okay. Ooh, okay. So we can redo that. Did they get a signature? Let's not waste any time. Among other things, we're looking after an old friend of mine today. She's in room P31. Please make sure she's looked after. But don't lose sight of your other responsibilities, okay? As always, I want to see impeccable results. Get to it. All right. P31. Let's go see about an old friend, shall we? Oh! Who is that? His wife or his mother? <laughs> it ought to be one of the two. Guiano, what are you doing here? Finley, my friend. I brought my mother here this morning. <laughs> May I introduce her? I know it's his mother. This is my mother, Irma. Good morning. Hello there. She colla- Oh, that's not fun. She collapsed on the sidewalk. Must have fainted or something. It's the first time this kind of thing has happened to her. So I figured we'd better get a specialist to check her out. Alright, I'll take a look. You hear that? You you hear that, Ma? Finley hasn't lived in Porcupine long, but I know him. He's a good kid and a great doctor. Well, I well, aren't I the lucky one? <laughs> Is there anything else I can do, Finley? Can you tell me anything else about what happened this morning? Oh, yeah, let's see. Me and Ma wanted to meet up for breakfast. She wanted to enjoy the sunny morning and go for a walk, you know? She said it might be the last sunny day of the year. It's not far, but she seemed very tired when I saw her. <laughs> we didn't even have the time to say hello properly before her legs gave way. She couldn't stop stop coughing. Huh. So we came straight here. Shame. I was looking forward to that breakfast. I was really craving French toast with applesauce. And a nice strong black coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Griano. I think that'll do for now. I'll take a look at Irma. Okay. Ma, I'm going to head off now. I'll be back at Gilbert's. Gilbert's? <laughs> Let me know if you need anything, okay? I'll be fine, son. You should be worrying about that old pub of ours. I'll call you later. I like that. <laughs> Good morning, Miss... De Calma? Miss, Mrs. DeCalma. Interesting. How are you feeling today? Please call me Irma. <laughs> I'm not one to stand on ceremony. <laughs> All right, Irma. I'm Finley. That's a nice name. So, how are you feeling? Uh, my lungs hurt more than I've ever felt before. That happens sometimes. Can you tell me again what happened this morning? On my way... You see, I was on my way to see my son, Guiano. It was such a lovely morning. I felt like the last day of summer. Even though I can't already smell the fall, you can smell it too. Or can you? You can? Me? Yes, me too. The trees are turning beautiful colors. Anyway, after a few meters, my breathing got very heavy. Such a waste of beautiful fall air. I couldn't really enjoy it. 
My breathing's got faster and faster. I just reached the marketplace when I started feeling very dizzy. I felt sick. My legs gave way and I fell down. Ugh. I fell down onto the sidewalk. It made an awful racket. The window shook all of the houses. I see. That reminds me of a great story, but maybe I can wait for another day. I'm rather exhausted. All right, Irma. I'll let you get some rest, but I'd like to make a few notes on the diagnosis. Of course. The sooner we find a solution, the sooner I can... <laughs> the sooner I can get a hold of my French toast. But she wanted the French toast, Finley. Just sit tight. We'll have you out of here in no time. <laughs> find the correct combination of symbols. Blue mark indicates that you got the right symbol. Oh! Oh, yeah, 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 I think I remember this. Okay, we'll say Solution contains a symbol. Okay. So we just kind of have to... Okay, maybe not a skull. Heart. Leg. Stomach. Eye. Contains a symbol. Place. Oh, okay. Okay. So let's do some ones I haven't put yet. Okay, so foot, heart, hand. What am I missing? Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Six. What am I missing? One, two, three, four, five. Oh no. Oh, maybe. Could it be double? Okay. Three. So, let's see. Foot and hand. Right? Foot and hand. And then this one had... Foot... Oh, heart. So the foot was correct. Heart's not correct. So it must be heart... It must be heart. Not heart? Something else. So not... I? Not heart? Foot was correct. So... But I had two. Maybe a stomach? Ha ha ha! Nice! The power of deduction! Yeah, I'm good at it or whatever. <laughs> okay. Hmm, I see. What do you see? Symptoms are relatively clear. I think it's early stage pneumonia. Oh my god. Things don't seem so bad for now, but we'll keep you here as a precaution. Yes, you're better safe than sorry, right? <laughs> That's right. You're a nice young man. I'm glad you're my doctor. Thank you. I'll do my best to get you well again as possible at, or as soon as possible. See you later again today. Just call out if you need anything. Will do. Thank you, doll. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go do the medications. Good job. Thank you. Philly. You got a minute? Sure, what can I do you for? I know she's in good hands with yous. That's all I can ask for. We'll get Irma back on her feet. I know, I know. I'll head out then. I gotta finally reopen Gilbert's today. Don't take this personally, but I hate hospitals. 
The smell makes me anxious. <laughs> then I guess we'd better catch up at Gilbert's next time. Sure. Come by anytime. I will. All right. Goodbye, Guiano. I don't want to talk to Doc, Miss, Mrs. Doctor Face until I'm done with my rounds. Miss Martin, how are you feeling? I was up all night worrying again. I was thinking about my daughter, our argument. I'm the same when I can't sleep. I'll spend the whole night turning problems over in my head. Is your stomach any better at least? My stomach? Now you mention it. It is feeling better, yes. That's good to hear. Yay! <laughs> your trouble sleeping could be a side effect of your medication. I'll make some adjusted adjustments to your dosage. All right, time to do some pill work. Okay, whoa, her levels are way high. Okay, so... So, this one, for sure. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Not this one. Not, no, 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 no. Trash. Hmm. Oh, I see. We need both of these. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> wrong, 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 wrong. I need this one and this one. And then I need this one, this one, that one. No, that's five. I need four. Okay. Okay, so we need the blue to go down for sure. Okay, so that's good. <sighs> we need... The pink is already good. I need the green to go down. And this one. Yep. Okay, that's not... That game's actually not that bad. All right. So you're about to get some new drugs to help you sleep. We'll get to the stomach ulcer. We'll get the stomach ulcer under control. But to keep it that way, you need to avoid stress. That's easier said than done. I know. No, I'm glad you said that. Maybe that's what I needed to hear. I've known it for a long time, but I really do need to look after myself more. But how? This pill you're about to take will set will send you to sleep for a little while. I'm sure you'll come up with fresh new idea wait, with new ideas and a fresh perspective when you wake up. Thanks, doctor. Woohoo! Now let us go see Larissa. Let us go see Larissa the pig. Piggy, 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 Larissa. The one who wanted to be a cool kid. Larissa, Larissa, hello, Larissa. <laughs> How are you today? Pretty chill, Doc. Just bored to death. I could barely sleep last night. Yeah, I get that. The nights can be long when you're in the hospital. Squeeze me. Ain't that the truth? How's the cough? Much better. That's what I want to hear. I'll just give you a quick check over then, okay? You need me to do anything? Just what you're doing right now, that's plenty. All right, let's look at your lungs. Don't you mean listen? What? You're just gonna listen to my lungs, right? Or are you gonna cut me open? I don't want people to look at my lungs. <laughs> oh, right. Sorry, it's just a turn of phrase. I'll be only listening to your lungs. Don't worry. Phew. Okay, I know how to play this game now.
A plus. Yes. Straight A's, baby. That's what we like to see. Hmm. What is it, Doc? Not fully recovered quite yet. Is that bad? No, nothing to worry about. I think if you stay in bed all day and take it easy, we can send you home tomorrow. Okay. Is everything okay? Yeah, I guess. I just wish I could have gone home today. Yeah, I get that. But believe me, it's better if we keep you in today. Just for one more day. Yeah, maybe you're right. Doc, can I tell you something? Sure, what is it? She seems kind of sad. There we go. My cough was pretty bad last night. It kept me up all night. And it hurt a lot, too. It's good that you told me that, Larissa. You know, you can tell me anything, right? Believe me, I want to get you out of here as soon as possible, too. Okay, Doc. Thanks. Any tips for how to kill time around here? Well, we have a TV in the break room. If you're free to it, you can sit down there, make yourself comfortable. We've got tea and coffee, too. Ugh, coffee. That stuff's so bitter. But I'll take a look later. Thanks. Let me know if you need anything, okay? Just one more day, we can do it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, do some acting with my face, shall I? <laughs> Alright. Dr. Krokowski, I finished seeing all my patients. Don't hate me, please. I am done. I can see that. Alright then, let's see what you've got for me. That'll do, pigeon. Get an S grade. Ha ha ha. Do you need anything else? No, thank you, but... The new patient. Mm, what about her? She's very friendly. Is that so? Old Miss DeCalma is very popular in Porcupine. I've known her for a long time, too. Take good care of her, Finley. You'll be in charge of her treatment. But don't neglect the others just because you think Miss Mrs. DeCalma's nice. Personal consideration should never get in the way of your work, even if you absolutely hate a person. Always treat them to the best of your ability and understanding. Take a break now. In the meantime, I'll check in on Mrs. DeCalma as well. Okay, thank you for placing your trust in me. Hmm. I'd say that was successful. Hey, Mia! Oh. Ugh. Are you okay? Are you done for the day? I'm double done. Tired. Yeah, I'm having a hard time getting used to the shift work. <laughs> Tell me about it. Have you eaten today? I'm so hungry. No, now that you mention it, have you ever been to the cafeteria? Not to eat, but maybe today's a good day to change that. I'd say it is. Let's do it. I hadn't realized how hungry I was until you mentioned it. Now I can't think of anything else. That's what we call a remote diagnosis. Shall we go? Yes. Correct answer. Hurry up. My stomach's practically roaring with hunger. Is that even medically possible? 
They must hate you at the library. <sighs> Finley. All right, all right, to the cafeteria. Use elevator. Yay! All right. Let's go get some hospital grub. Dude, I could use some real grub IRL, actually. I'm starving here. Ah, oh, she runs when I run. Ooh, llama. Hmm, what should I get? Hey, Lisa. Mia, hey, you want a break? Who's this you brought with you? Have we met? I don't think so. I'm Finley. Nice to meet you. I guess you're on internal medicine too? I don't think I could do what you do. But if you want me to cut something out for you, just say the word. Oh, she's one of the nurse, uh, the surgeons. I can't decide what to eat. Hmm. Don't see anything you like off, like the look of? Oh, quite the opposite. All the dishes sound delicious. Really? Yeah. Sergey's an amazing cook. With knife skills like that, he'd fit right in at the surgery. I'd like to see that. Go on ahead. I need a moment to decide. All right, thanks. Don't mind if we do. We're gonna get you, kid. Mm, what you got? Art. <laughs> the finest... Wait, what was the voice I did for him? The finest culinary art in town. Just choose your artwork and prepare to be taken on a wild journey. Now, I don't want to presume your personal taste, but I can highly recommend the pineapple wrap. Sweet yellow fruit combined with crunchy lamb lettuce and pickled artichoke hearts. A gourmet delight. <laughs> so, go on. What'll be? What'd you like, Mia? Hmm, I don't care. You pick something. I'll eat just about anything right now. Okay, I would like pineapple wrap, pasta cum laude, sesame sorbet, tomato tart, ravioli with something, sea salt, Mussolini. This is a ravioli. We're all out of that. Sorry. My dishes are just too popular. Can I get you something else? Oh. I see where this is going. Ah, the pineapple wrap. I see you're a doctor of good taste. Bon appetit, you both enjoy. <laughs> I could tell that was going to be our only option. How is it? The wrap? Mm, interesting, I guess. What do you think of it? I'll be honest, I can't stand pineapples. <laughs> then why'd you make me choose? <laughs> but I didn't want to complain. And I was so hungry, I didn't care. But I actually... M but I actually meant work. How's it going for you? We both started here just a few weeks ago. And I just realized that we haven't really talked about our experiences yet. Sometimes that helps. To reflect on yourself, I mean. <laughs> That's what my parents always say. True. Somehow we haven't had the chance yet. Well, I think I like St. Ursula's. I don't know that many hospitals yet, but I think we made a good choice. <laughs> yeah, probably. And the staff are really nice. That's true. But... Dr. Krakowski can be pretty nasty. <laughs> yeah, she's been really eating me alive, too. But I'll win her over. <laughs> sure, sure. I just wish there was more... Or, I just wish I was more punctual. Every day I come rushing in at the last minute, and you're already here and ready to go. I need to work on that. <laughs> yeah. Is everything okay? You don't have to eat the wrap if you don't like it. Well, I... Oh, God. 
Bon appetit, my dear Carl. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, wait. <clears throat> my dear Carl. Colle colleagues, I can't talk. You too. <laughs> How'd you like Sergey's cuisine? Mm, pretty good so far. Yes, pretty good. Good, good. That's what I like to hear. Well, the staff are happy. I'm happy too. Oh my gosh, I can't do the voice. I'm sorry I missed the opportunity to induce myself the other... In induce? Excuse you? Introduce myself the other day. I didn't seem like... No, what was the voice I used? I, I used... It didn't seem like... No, there it is. <clears throat> it didn't seem like the right time, so I was hoping I could make it up to you now. My name is Roman Heinrich. I'm the executive director of the... My name is Roman Hendrick. I'm the executive director of St. Ursula's Hospital. I try to keep things running as smoothly as I can. And to fulfill the wishes of our dear chief physician, Dr. Theobald, and the staff, of course. My top priority is the welfare of our patients. And that's how I've always been, and that's how it'll always be. The two of you are new here, so I wanted to impart that information to you personally. Especially since some of you have had the difficult start here. <laughs> I don't blame you for the incident with Mr. Anders. You're new and mistakes happen. Well, I made him southern, didn't I? And I... <laughs> and I see no ill... In <sighs> and I see no ill intent on your actions. You only wanted what was best for the patient. So... So much so that you put your own health at risk. Nevertheless, we had to take... Make certain... Accommodations for him. He's now at the best care center in the country where he will hopefully recover quickly. <laughs> that was really hard to do. I'm glad to hear it. Hope he gets better soon. Anyway, enough of such matters. Let us look into the future and continue to make St. Ursula's Hospital a place of healing. I'm glad to have you both on board. That's what I really wanted to tell you. Hmm. 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 All right, time for me to go. Don't you want to eat anything? No, no, thank you. I s say to my appetite some time ago. Besides, work never sleeps. Enjoy your meals and your work. <laughs> okay. That was interesting. <laughs> that was... <laughs> literally just said what I said. <laughs> That's so funny. You yeah, you can you can say that again. <laughs> Are you done? I definitely am now. Let's get back up to the ward then. Mr. Heinrich's right. Work never sleeps in this hospital. Okay, let's go. <laughs> That's so funny. I can't believe. I can't believe I said the same thing as them. She's a mind reader, whatnot. Oh. Someone I can talk to. I made friends with my roommate in the ward. Makes... Sense. Oh, makes staying <laughs> can't read. Makes staying here much more bearable. <laughs> bearable, get it? They're talking to a bear. That's what I like to see. Two happy full faces. Tell me, what did you make of your culinary journey? Try to put it into words. It wasn't really my thing. Yummy, delicious. Mmm. Ah, excellent. I love sharing my world with those around me. Enjoy it. Enjoy! Okay. Aw, oh, she's nice. I mean, I wasn't gonna say I was sick. Even if I was. I truly could have been. Right, truly. Ba -na 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 -na. Oop. All right, uh, we go this way. Let's. What? 
Man! Are you serious? You piece of trash! Hello! Who is that? Where is it coming from? The elevator, maybe? We should check. Uh-oh. I think the voice is coming from here. H hello Is someone in there? No, the hospital just installed one of those new talking elevators. Wah! The damn door's stuck. Why does this thing keep happening to me? We need to help him. Yeah, what can we do? We should get the janitor. He can open the door, right? Gregor, the old fart? <laughs> He's the reason I'm stuck in here in the first place. If he touches the elevator, it'll probably blow up. I'm going to wring his neck! Do you want to get out of there or not? <sighs> yeah, I guess. I've just come from surgery on the second floor. That's where I saw the old bungler sulking around. All right. Finley, you go to the surgery and find Gregor. I'll be back to our ward and stay on call in case anyone needs anything. Good plan. Thanks. Okay, I get it. Gregor's our only hope. But that doesn't mean I have to like it. But I guess I can't get... Blah, 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 blah. But I guess I can't get the door open with gauze bandages and IV fluids. And I'm starving. Please don't eat any medical supplies. <laughs> Are you crazy? That stuff tastes awful. You mean you've tried it? Look, night shifts can get pretty long, okay? <laughs> Just hang in there. I'm going to go look for Gregor. Gregor. Like I said, I just saw him in surgery. All right, all right, I'll fetch him. Be right back, okay? Hurry up. The walls are closing in on me. <laughs> okay. Man, you know what sounds good right now? A Costco burgy boy. All right, he said surgery on the second floor. That's him. Gregor, there you are. What's up with that blasted light? I need your help. Yeah, yeah, everyone needs old Gregor's help. Won't even give me the time of day when everything's running smoothly. One flickering light or squeaky door, and it's Gregor this. Help that. <laughs> Mr. Glendower stuck in the elevator. <laughs> Take it easy, kid. Can't you see I'm busy here? But there's someone stuck in the elevator. Give me a hand here, kid. There's a breaker panel at the end of the hall. Head over there, switch the breaker on when I give you the signal, okay? But uh, one thing at a time. After that, will you help me with the elevator? I'm the janitor, ain't I? <sighs> okay. Oh. What brings you to the surgery? I'm looking for the janitor. Oh, Glenny. Hmm. New nickname acquired. Oh, Glenny. I like him. And as it happens, he's here. I think he's filling with the light or something. Okay. My goodness. Good luck. Okay. Something's telling me the panel's probably on the left side. Oh, no. There it is. Let me talk to this, this, this person real quick. Hello, antelope. Oh. Check upstairs. Why are you giving me false information, ma'am, sir? Okay, this is probably the only breaker panel here. Here goes nothing. Okay, ready? Yes. All right. Wait a minute. Put this here. Fiddle around there. That should do it. Okay, now. Ah! 
Oh no, everything okay? I'll just take a quick look. Oh no, I'll just take a quick look. Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun dun. She's all like, he's right over there. Dun dun. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it does look like it. Mr. Glendower. Oh, is that his name? Oh, Glenny. Glendower. Glenny. Are you alright? <coughs> yeah, I'll live. Take more than a little shock, electric shock, to stop me. Well, that's a relief. Maybe you should lie down for a moment. All the same. <laughs> Baloney. You want to make an omelet, you got to break a few eggs. Besides, look, the lights are working again. And I've still got it. Will you help me now? Help? Oh, yeah, 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 your elevator thing. Give me a moment. I just need to take a quick break, then we'll take a look. Quick break? This dude's like stuck up in the elevator. Uh, I knew, I figured it was him. It's the she uh, sheep uh, ram person, dude. I was about to sign a lease on this thing. Oh, you again. I should have. Oh, nope, 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 nope. I should have known. Carl, it's you. I've been wondering where you were all day. I knew that voice sounded familiar. Huh? What? I thought you knew it was me. Don't you recognize the angelic voice of your favorite colleague? I'll try to burn it into my brain for future use. Anyway, I'm glad you're out of the elevator now. Oh, yeah, right. Freedom! Ah, <laughs> oh, that sweet, sweet scent. I thought I was going to die in there. Thank you, Finley. You really are a good buddy. I owe you one. Gregor, you old bungler. It's your fault I got stuck in there. And now it's my fault you're out again. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm leaving now. <laughs> so friendly. Arr, one of these days. Are you all right? What? Oh, right. Yeah, all good. I'm just short on time. I already had loads to do today. Could have done without the involuntary lunch break. It stares only for me from now on. Should help me keep fit at least. <laughs> Are you even allowed to take the elevator with all those boxes? Why is that an option? Are you even allowed to take the elevator with all those boxes? I mean, it's harder. Hmm. Interesting. I don't like any of the options. Anything else I can help you with? You could clone me. <laughs> or take a second job as a nurse. Or buy a new elevator. All good options. Right? All right, enough chit-chat. I gotta go. I need to get a snack somewhere before my next stop. And you need to get back up to the ward. You know Krakowski by now. The steam's probably coming out of her ears already. Thanks again for the help, buddy. If you're up for it later, I'll buy you a drink at Gilbert's. Think about it. Laters. <laughs> but... Hmm... What about the boxes? Guess he'll sort it out. I really should get back to the ward now. And I'm taking the stairs, old buddy, old pal. <laughs> Can't have us getting stuck in there. I think we're on the third floor, right? Oh, me. Oh, my. Oh, buddy, oh, pal. Here I am. Did everything go okay? 
Yeah, how about you? It took you quite a while. Who was it in the elevator? Hmm, Carl. <laughs> Typical. Have you seen Dr. Krakowski? Yeah, she's in the break room. She tends to retreat when the... Uh, tends to retreat there when the evening starts closing in. <laughs> Could not read that sentence for the life of me. I don't think she's really taking a break, though, which kind of defeats the purpose of the room. I'll let her know I'm clocking off. Then I can finally relax for the evening. You do that. I'm going to do some sports. You can join me if you want. It'll be fun. That's not a bad idea. I'll think about it. Okay, let's check my phone. It's been a while. Oh my gosh, I got all these new things on all these people. All of them. That's what that... Kim. Sergey. Dr. Portobello. Lisa. I mean, seems really nice. I feel a bit sorry for her that she has to work so closely with Dr. Linwood. She can't be easy, but she seems to like it. Oh, that can't be easy. Mia and Lisa get along well. Maybe they'll end up becoming friends. I'd like that very much. Sergey? Cafeteria's head chef, but neither his manner nor his appearance matches his job description very well. I wonder how he ended up here. Mateo. Standing at the bus stop. He's <laughs> smelling like yogurt. At first, I thought he was just really into dairy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Dr. Theobald is the chief of medicine at St. Ursula. They spoke to him for the first time today. I like the conversation. I hope to learn a lot from him. Heinrich. <laughs> Heinrich, not Heinrich. There's no N. There's the financial stuff in the hospital. It's not for me at all, but maybe he enjoys it. He asked me about the accident today and seems worried about me and Mr. Arndez. Adele. Oh my gosh. Early in the morning, she needs to know a lot about the history. If I find the time, I should talk to her some more. Guiano. I like good old Guiano a lot. He owns Gilbert's, the only bar in Porcupine. I've been there once or twice already and had a re reasonably good time. We once got into an argument with someone called Ralph, but I guess that's to be expected when you're the owner of a bar. Plus, he actually is pretty laid back. <laughs> Kim. I don't really like trains all that much, but I didn't want to spoil Kim's entertainment. Alfo. This morning, Alfo was sitting in front of my door. He doesn't seem to have a place to stay. Susie. Only Mel Carrie and Porcupine. She knows everyone perhaps a little too well. I get that... I get the impression that she's a little too nosy for her own good. <laughs> Alright, Ingrid. Today I entered the hospital for the first time, Ingrid. She's the heart of St. Ursula's. I'm just concerned. Oh, wait. We already knew this. Oh, this one. The middle one was new. Um... Oh, these, this part was new. Me and I heard a voice in the elevator. It was Carl. Invited me to beer tonight. And Mia. She's on the school's... Uh, Mia invited me to work out after work today. That's a pretty good idea. I could use a distraction. She's on the school's sports ground. Alright. Where's the break room? Where's the bathroom? <clears throat> I guess it's this way? Why could I go in that room? Here's the break room. Okay, let me go into P31 first. Why am I allowed to go in there? Let's see. Did your day go okay? Yes, I'm about to head out. Can I get you anything else? No, no, I'm all good. 
I'll try to read a little longer, but it'll be an early night for me tonight. All right then, see you tomorrow. See you in the morning. <laughs> so she's alone. Only one in here. She's going to sleep early. Go into the break room. You're not even sitting down. You're still standing. Finley, I have a question. Do you have some other job here that I don't know about? Or two, even? Hmm? What do you mean? Well, you seem to have a lot, of, lot on your mind whenever you're here. Otherwise, you would presumably be doing your job. Like everybody else here does. Don't take this personally. I don't enjoy pointing out these I don't enjoy pointing these things out. I do it because it's my job. Don't assume that the rest of the team can make up for every shortcoming. Just as you rely on others, they must also be able to rely on you. Please think about what I've said. But Carl was I know. And I also know that you were helping him. Nevertheless, I need to make sure we're clear on this. Thank you for your work today. Tomorrow is your first night shift, as I'm sure you know. That will give you another chance to prove yourself. She, like, just really doesn't like me. But, I mean, like, it's warranted, right? Because he keeps getting into, like, circumstances where he's not at his job <laughs> so I get it I get why she's like upset but like she gets it too but she's like I know you're just trying to help people but also you need to do your job and help the patients more than helping other people <laughs> all right let's get it going let's get it going yeah Get going, let's get a going, going. Ingrid, any plans for after work? Yeah, I'm gonna go out again. It's your first night shift tomorrow, right? Yes, finally a chance to sleep in a bit. You better had scary things happen here at night sometimes. Demons, monsters, that kind of thing. The spirits of the deceased get up to all sorts of mischiefs here, you know? You're kidding, right? No, it's all true. Some people have gone insane on their first night shift. Or even disappeared completely. I mean, look at you. You've only had one late shift, and you didn't even come out unharmed. But that was just a stupid accident. It could have happened any time of day. Oh, sure, it could have. Or could it? Dun dun dun. <laughs> I'll let you answer that one. Alright. I'm leaving now. Yes! Flee! Flee! Mwahaha! Wait. Flee! Flee! Mwahaha! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh. He was looking sleepy before I moved him. Oh man, I am hungry. There you are. How's it looking? Are you going to come down to the sports court with me? I want to get some exercise in tonight. Maybe another time. Yeah, let's go. Let's go do sports. All right, come on then. Race you to the school sports court. If you insist. Great. On your marks. Get set. Oh no, is that Dr. Krakowski? She looks angry. What? Go! <laughs> She's a cheat. <laughs> I knew there was something else over here. I just couldn't remember. So it's a school. Let's go do some sports. Let's go do some sports. 
Let's go be active even though I hurt my head the other night. Ooh. Hello, me! <laughs> okay, I don't remember... Do I remember this being down here? Oh gosh, I don't. I don't quite remember. Did I go this way? Okay, I assume so. Oh, nope. Oh, maybe I go down this way? Yeah. Oop. My god, this place is far. So, um, I do like the game so far. I don't know actually how long the gameplay is. So I don't know if we're like getting close to when stuff starts happening. But I'm curious to know. Why she be looking like a Laker? Wow, what's happening here? Why am I standing so close to her? Hmm, what do you think? After a long day, I need to work off a bit of energy. The university clinic where I used to work had its own sports field. I discovered this hidden gem last week. I hereby present to you Nice, so you want me to join in? That's the plan. Today we're playing basketball. You know how to shoot hoops, right? I was always good at school. I got teased a lot for being one of the youngest. But I always got the baskets. Alrighty then, looks like I chose the right guy to play against. Let's see who wins. Ready? Ooh, uh, give me a minute, I wanna look around. I do want to look around. Oh! Who is this? This, uh, troublemaker looking person. Hello! What do you want? Me? Um, nothing, I guess. You seem kind of down. Is everything okay? Yeah, of course it is. Leave me alone. Okay. Looks like a skate park. Oh! I can't talk to you. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Why can't I talk to you? Okay, I'll be right back. I want to explore outside some more. <clears throat> Let's go this way. I can see all the graffiti. Like a proper street. Oh, okay, now I'm going too far, maybe. I'm a going too far, too far, maybe. Maybe I am going too far. Yeah, this is like a residential area. Interesting. Okay, well, let's go back and play some basketball, I guess. Before I get too far. She's like, um, where'd you go? Just on a quick rock walk around the neighborhood. <laughs> Just a quick walk around. Alright, 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 alright. Let's play some basketball, shall we? Oh, 
go through the thing again. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ready? Pass me the ball. Just what I wanted to hear. Here we go. <laughs> Woo! Oh my god, that was so loud. You know, I kind of thought there was about to be a mini game. I'm gonna need a little bit of a protein bar for a sec. She's a hungry goyle. So give me a second. Keep yourself fit. Eat a charge. Eat a throw. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Change it! Literally everything else is off. <laughs> okay. Well. I'm going to turn it down in my ears. And then I'm going to turn it down for you. Because that is really, really loud. And then the audio doesn't even change. <laughs> oh my gosh, I almost lost. <laughs> Literally by a point. That's crazy. Oh, now it's now now it's too quiet. Oof. You really showed me. I didn't know you were so good. Oh, I think you just caught me on a good day. Like, where did I get that outfit from? <laughs> the last time I played basketball was at school. When I start a team in Porcupine, you have to join me. <laughs> okay. Let me turn everything up again. Like that. How's that? Turn this up again too. Okay. Not just work, in general. Porcupine. It's nice here. I mean, I kind of haven't had much time to get to know the town yet. Haven't even unpacked all my boxes yet. And then I was out of action for a while. It feels a bit like when I first started university. A little bit lonely. Really? But you're already fitting in so well. How do you mean? Well, somehow you get along with everyone here. And it feels like I don't know anyone yet. 
I feel a little lonely. Every time I move town, it gets a little harder somehow. Had a few friends at school. Even at university, I struggled to meet people. And in Porcupine, I really only know the people from the hospital. You really think I'm fitting in well? Totally. Funny. I feel the same way as you, actually. Really? That's a surprise. I haven't had much free time so far. And when I do, I never have the energy to do anything. It's tough to get to know anyone. But I made up my mind not to get bogged down with work. I want to make sure I always save some energy for trying out new things. Meeting new people. Maybe even making some friends. I'm sure we'll both find friends here. And whenever you want to try something new, you could always just let me know. I will. But that's enough for today, I think. I'm starving. I need to make something to eat. Besides, some of us have the early shift tomorrow. It's your first night shift, right? Yeah, I hope it goes all right. I'm sure it will. I believe in you. But I've got to run now. See you tomorrow night. Nice. See you tomorrow night. Aha! Pump up the jam. Play basketball with Mia. Nice. Okay. I wish to go check on our fishing friend because we didn't yesterday. Oh! Evening there. Aren't you cold? I'm all right. Emergency shelter won't take me in. Been drinking. They don't like that there. Helps with the weather, though. The boredom, too. But I'll get it under control. Come first snow, you'll see. Alfio Mertens. Alfio Mertens always gets it under control. You take care now, you hear me? I will, I will. Feel like making another investment? Price is about to boom. Scout's honor. <laughs> I'll invest again. Here you go. Thank you. You won't regret your investment. Take care of yourself. You too. Then I'll be over before you know it. Let's go see if we can catch our fishing friend. Fishing friend. I wonder who you are. Bleh. I had two melodies going on in my head that I wanted to go down. And I didn't shoot either of them. Oh! There's no chair today. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. Let us get to sleep. Can't wait to sleep in tomorrow. <laughs> Good night, world. Ooh. Yeah, the the sounds in this game are interesting. They don't actually go down. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's only gonna get messy again anyway. And then I'll just have to tidy it up again. Maybe I should just maintain a constant level of chaos at all times. Meh. I should put my laundry away at least. Otherwise it'll end up lying around all week. Hope my lazy future self appreciates this. <laughs> oh, that's the bathroom. Feel free to help me out a little. After all, you live here too. That reminds me actually, you're behind on your rent. Finlo! 
Hey! Pina? Is that you? Bingo! What's up? How's stuff? What's the goss? You still in bed after the accident? Yeah, no, I'm back on my feet now. I even played basketball with a colleague yesterday. You played basketball? I wish I'd seen that. Anyway, are you free right now by any chance? Um, yeah. I'm still at home on my first night shift tonight. Ooh, exciting. Are you nervous? Nope, not yet. I'm sure that'll all change later. <laughs> Sounds like a little distraction would do you good. You think you could swing by my store? I could use your help. Huh? Well, I wanted to check out the high street anyway. Uh, sure. Yeah, I'll stop by. Perfecto. Thanks so much. See you soon. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh. Interesting. I turned on the fan. Ooh. <laughs> I like how the sound goes from my right ear to the left ear. Well, I mean... Turn that off, I guess. Time to go. I mean, this must be closer. Oh! Hello again. Well, hey there. Don't I normally see you walking the other way this time of day? Night shift. At St. Ursula's? That's right, I'm a doctor there. Oh, yeah! I've seen you heading that way in the mornings. Got me thinking, actually. I wanted to be a doctor once. Then I changed my mind. Too stressful, I figured. Always good to know a doctor, though. That's true. And now you know a homeless guy. Who knows when that'll come in handy, eh? Say, how are you doing health-wise? Oh, you know. Good days and bad. My leg gives me trouble from time to time. But it's no big deal. I can't complain. Not really my style. <laughs> Are you sure? Positive. Okay. But if you want me to take a look at anything, don't hesitate to ask, alright? Yes, sir. Same goes for you, eh? Alright, goodbye. I wonder if it'll let me take the bus. That would be marvelous. Marvelous. Let's see. I really shouldn't take the bus today. Penis store is about halfway to work. Besides, I can finally check out the high streets on the way there. Okay, fine. I go down this way? Mmm, yep. Closed for construction. Probably for the, uh, probably for the fountain. Now what's this I hear about an ice cream stall? Hmm? I knew I was forgetting something. <laughs> well, I guess they're done though. Hmm. Oh no. Pastries. My only weakness! What dastardly villain placed these cinnamon buns here? In broad daylight! I'll find you, you scoundrel! I will find you and I will taste my sweet revenge! Oh. Well. What the heck is she doing up there? Hey, Madigan, you're doing a great job. Thank you, it's my first day. I'm really nervous. Don't be. You look great. <laughs> thank you, thank you. But it takes more than good looks to succeed. Uh? But it takes more than good looks to succeed in the fashion industry. Really? What else do you need? 
willpower, the will to assert yourself in order to achieve your goals. And a clear head, lots of people get taken for, oh, and a clear head, period. Lots of people get taken for a ride on their first job. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Seriously talking to a mannequin right now. Um, I have to get back to work now. Stop distracting me. The fashion shows of the world are depending on me. Okay, okay, good luck. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. When you look as good as me, you don't need luck. Okay. My character's a little funky. I used to love sending postcards. If I ever have time, I'll send one to my parents. I'm sure they'd be delighted. <clears throat> Hi, my name is Chloe Colbert. I run Origami, the stationery store. Do you have a moment to answer a few questions? Sure, what's up? Oh, super! We've noticed that our revenues have been on the decline for some time now. So we're conducting a survey of Porcupine's residents to see what we can do. All right, shoot. <clears throat> All right. So, first question. Approximately, how many pens do you own? Oh, wow. That's the tough one right off the bat. Uh, I guess if I'd have to put a number on it, maybe five? Five pens. Okay, okay. How many times a day do you use a pen? Well, I need a lot of them when I work... When I needed a lot of them when I was at university. These days, I do most things digitally. Even the hospital... Even the hospital went digital just before I moved to Porcupine. I see. What about paper? You use paper? For writing? Not so much. Okay. Alright, that's it. Thank you for your time. We'll try to pivot our pro portfolio to meet the current needs of Porcupine's population. No problem. Happy to help. Okay. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I got so much paint on me. Bimbo! Are you okay? Are you hurt? Am I dead? Uh. <laughs> You're the unluckiest person I know. You know that? I just wanted to come by and help. <laughs> I know. Thanks. You really... And you really have, too. What do you mean? I needed an idea for my facade. Looks like you've sorted that out for me. I'm just glad I borrowed... I brought all my plants in first. Ha! That look suits you. You should wear it more often. You think? Absolutely. It adds a much needed touch of color to your face. What if it dries on me? Do you want to come in and wash up? <laughs> I better had, right? Don't want to stain the beds on the ward later. Let's get to it then. That's my super duper fast drying paint you're wearing there. That's more like it. You really are a walking disaster, aren't you? First, a box hits you on the head. Now a, paint of, now a bucket of paint. Maybe it really is just bad luck. You know what I just realized? I haven't ever been inside your store before. Nice place you have here. I'm impressed. <laughs> Thank you. I put a lot of work. Wor <laughs> I put a lot of work into it. <laughs> How's business going? How do you think? I love my plants. And so does everyone else. Are you still looking for an assistant? If you're interested in the position, I'll be expecting a formal application, young man. Hey, it was worth a shot. How's your head? I'm starting to get used to the bumps. <laughs> well, we'll buy you a helmet with a capital F on it. That way, everyone can see you coming. And ruin my hair? Never. Have you got time for a out for blah, blah, blah. 
Have you got time for a day out tomorrow? Oh, I see. You know, I don't actually want a helmet, right? <laughs> no, I wanted to go to the glow, the glow milk woods. Want to come with me? Finley, can you hear me? Hello? What? I think I saw a paint in my ears. Some careless person dropped a bucket on my head. I'm really sorry. <laughs> it's alright. Yeah, I'm in. What air's good for the health? <laughs> That's so weird. Great. <laughs> okay, time for me to head off to my night shift. See you tomorrow then. We'll just meet up at my store again, okay? And watch your head, Finley. That's the exit. Do you water all your flowers with this tap? What? No. You got some strange notions about how my job works. <laughs> wow. That's a lot of plants. Yep. Raise them all myself. Is my plant from this shelf too? Yeah. Pick I picked out a really pretty one for you. Oh, thanks. But I think they're all pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Finley, what a sly guy. Oh. <laughs> like right there. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Let's get to work. Oh. <laughs> I wonder how long it'll take me to get to work from here. I'm willing to bet that this is where I'm going to run into the... Yep. <laughs> oh! Yo, hey, Doc! <clears throat> Larissa, good to see you! How are you doing? Great. I'm free again. Very good. How's your asthma? It's not giving me any problems at all now. I got one of those inhaler things. I even got to choose the color. Really? What'd you go for? I... Ended up getting three. I couldn't make up my mind. <laughs> By the way, Doc, love the new look. New look? Nothing. <laughs> What's she talking about? <laughs> Need the other ones later. Maybe I should have just gone the other way. I feel like I'm taking the super roundabout way now. I still gotta go through like... Yeah, here, and then past the woods. Looks like school's out for the day. Oh man, you really start missing your time in school when those days are gone. Well, not the time in school exactly. More like time, generally. There used to be so much of it. Boy, ain't that the truth. I was just feeling that way yesterday. I was watching some old videos of my time in marching band. 
They're all on YouTube still, which is surprising to me, actually. Oh, is this kid again? Hello. Hey. I'm Finley. Are you okay? Sure. I'm great. Can you go now, please? Oh, sure. Sorry. Didn't mean to disturb you. What's with all the spots? Is that kind of co is that some kind of costume? Costume? Oh no! A bucket of paint fell on my head on the way here. Wild. Mm -hmm. This kid. Oh, I can! I can! Hey, Doc. What are you doing here? Doc. How do you know who I am? Oh, uh, yeah, I figured. You're the doc who helped my friend Larissa, right? I visited her at home today. She's still a little sick. But she said her doctor was nice. And you match her description. She didn't say anything about the white spots, though. Oh, hee <laughs> hee. Thanks. And yeah, the spots are new. They're pretty rad. Maybe I'll try. I'll give it a try, too. I'm Maggie. I go to school here. What brings you to the skate park? Don't tell me you know how to skate. Not really, I'm just getting to know the town. I haven't lived here long, but I had some time to spare this afternoon. Cool. Must be pretty chill and not having to go to school anymore. Yeah, super chill. Me and Christo spend most of our time hanging out here. Feel free to drop by again. I'd like that, thanks. Ah, so you're Maggie? And then I'm guessing this is Christo. Over here. Ooh, Christo. Christopher. <laughs> Ooh, Stopher's lasagna. Oh, I'm hungry. I want Costco Burgy Boys. Okay. Finally gonna get to work. And they're gonna be so pissed. Be like, wow, I know it's the, n the night shift, but you should have been here before the sun went down. <laughs> Mm -mm. Oh. Come on. Oh. There it goes. I wonder if that's a faster way up. Alright. Sorry if you can hear my chewing. <laughs> Dang, ain't nobody here. Oh, that window's open. Hmm. Interesting. Ooh. Okay. Stick with me. Oh, I have to go to the bathroom. Stick with me. I want to see if it does something again. Or talk to it. Oh, okay. It's not letting me... I wanted to go try to see if I could... Um, go by... The, what's it called again? Oh, I gotta pee real bad. Okay. Let me just get inside and then I'll BRB. Okay. I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. I will be right back. B 
be right back. I will be right back. Doom bum. I got water while I was up. Oh well. Get back to. All right. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That scared me. Oh, this. Oh my gosh. This game. You can't really change the audio on it. So like, the loudness is just always so loud. Ugh. Come and get me, Ollie, if you dare. Jelly legs, scaredy cat. Stand still. Why are you always such a chicken? Come here. Oh my god. It's so loud and I can't change it. Oh, my old nerves. Uh, what was that? <laughs> The Hendersons are what's going on. They brought those two punks in this morning. Emergency, they said. Really? They seem pretty healthy to me. Bored is more like it. That pair can't stand... That pair can't stay in their beds for more than one minute. They're always bickering. Should I go check on them? Up to you. I'm sure you'll get to know them soon enough. In fact, they're both in your ward. Someone probably should check on them, though. Otherwise, we'll need two body bags before the day's out. Okay. Did they, like, proper leave? I mean, I should probably go up to the ward first, but... Okay. 
Okay. Just see if I can see anything. Oh my god, look at these numbskulls. Hey! That's stupid. You're stupid. You. No, you. Oh, you think you're funny, huh? No, I don't. I think you're stupid. You're stupid. What's going on here? Rudy stole my dessert. That's not true. You just didn't get any dessert. What can I do about that? Liar. You mean. Or you're mean. You're mean. I didn't do anything. You always say that. I'm guessing they went inside. So these are just some dumb kids causing a ruckus. Okay, well. Take the elevator, I guess. First night shift, huh? <laughs> Everything's good with you. Handling the shift so far? Okay so far? Yeah, it's really quiet here this time of night. We call that tiredness. The staff have it. The patients, too. Everyone's tired. I love the atmosphere it creates. The stillness really gives the mind space to work, you know? You can think about things you don't get time to during the day, during the daily grind. For now, I'll just try to do my duties properly. That's a good idea, too. Even when Dr. Krokowski isn't here, sometimes I can feel her cold breath on the back of my neck. <laughs> Brr. Okay, well. Oh! I didn't realize she'd be here. Hey, Finley. Mia! You look rushed off your feet. Busy day, huh? Yeah... It's, uh, been kind of crazy. The Hendersons in room 302 wouldn't keep still for five minutes. I can't deal with that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, just saw those two myself. Really? Where? Downstairs, at the main entrance. Oh, dear, and I just got them back into bed. Anything I need to know? The Hendersons poisoned each other. What? Were they trying to kill each other? No, no, no. It was a dare, but I'm sure they can explain it better themselves. I'll look into it right away. It can't be that bad, the way they're running around. Hmm. I don't know. The tests we took at lunchtime didn't look so great. You definitely won't get bored anyway. And I... I'm going now. <clears throat> All I want to do is lay down on the couch. You've earned it. Go get some rest. See you tomorrow. Break a leg. <laughs> Break a leg. All right. Uh, okay. Let's go check on her, because she's absolutely lovely, and I am concerned for her and how she is. Oh, she has a new bedmate. Hello, Irma. How are you this evening? Beautiful, isn't it? The fall? It's just a pity it always gets so dark early. I wouldn't mind a few more hours of sunshine. It's bright enough in here, though, luckily. True, but a long walk in the fall air would do me good. Still, you're right. You know, when I was young, light wasn't a given. We always had to catch it first. Catch it? The light. It used to be more agile than we're used to today. It was quite trick. It was quite tricksy. I'll tell you the story if you'd like. 
Tell me more. All right. But only if I'm not keeping you from your work. It's okay. I like to think that it's part of my job. <laughs> That's true. I am your patient after all. All right. Let's see now. Oh! A proper flashback! Ooh, this is fun! <laughs> Before there were street lights in Porcupine, we had to come up with other solutions if we wanted to read at night. That's where a trained light catcher like me comes in. Catching light isn't easy, of course. You can't just open a jar in the morning and put the lid on when it's full. Try it. You won't get very far, I'll tell you right now. The thing is, light is fantastically fast. There's nothing faster than light. By the time you put on the lid, the light's already snuck, sneaked. By the time you put the light on, the light's already sneaked out again. Then night comes, and everyone's stumbling around in their pajamas again. Anyway. No one knew what to do, of course. I tried putting out bait. Maybe the light would like pea stew or chocolate truffles. But it didn't. What it liked were the pearls my, hus my husband Gilbert had... Oh, Gilbert... Oh, Gilbert is the name after the father. What it liked were the pearls my husband, Gilbert, had growing in the garden. One night, I saw these little lights swirling around the pearls and settling on their skins. Eureka, I thought. Irma, now you've done it. It's hard to screw fruit onto lamps, of course, so I asked the local glass boat blower to make us pear-shaped jars. And what do you know? Once we began using pear-shaped glass, or bulbs as the glass blower called them, the light came into our parlors at the speed of light, and we could finally read at night. Of course, nowadays we use electricity to trickle the light, to tickle the light, so it knows when to go and come, come and go. Light switch on, light switch off. You know how it works. Light switch off, you know how it works. And that's how I became a light catcher. If I'm honest though, I never actually caught the light. It's far too fast for that, you know? Anyway, that's how things used to be then. I've never been good at physics, but it all makes sense to me. I'll take a closer look at my lamps at home. All right. Now you've told me all about catching the lights, but not how you're doing. How are you feeling today? I think... I don't know exactly. It's a strange feeling not being able to answer that question. I haven't slept this much in years. And I'm feeling a little chilly. Let me take a look. It'll only take a second. All right. So she's feeling chilly. Got teeth, feet. Oop. Let's do heart. I feel like heart's a good one. Oh, nice. Um, okay. Oh. So it's one of these. It's not the foot. Heart. <laughs> nice. Hee hee hee. I'm so good at that game. Your fever's a little higher than before. At least we know it's pneumonia now. 
We're going to keep giving you medication until the symptoms subside. The most important thing is to bring your temperature down. That'll help you sleep better, too. My goodness me. This wouldn't have been so much trouble when I was younger. Excuse me. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, the immune system weakens with age. Well, looks like you're stuck with me a little longer, Doc. The weird old lady with her oddball stories. How terrible. Yes, you don't know what you've gotten yourself into. Occupational hazard. You better sleep now. You need to get some rest. Then we'll soon have you back on track. I know I'm a doctor, and I know it's a bit of a cliche, but sleep really is the be is whoop, but sleep really is usually the best medicine. I agree. Thanks. No. You can help yourself. <laughs> it's just funny to me how we always like don't pay attention to the other patients in the rooms. All right, let's get to Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Okay, I guess we'll Faker, quitter. I drank half the bottle. Yeah, right. I saw you spit it out. Because I had to puke. I puked first. Boys. He always starts it. He never stops. Boys. You're suffering from fever, vomiting, diarrhea, and headache. May I ask why? Mold fight. Yeah. Mold fight. Do I even want to know? We found this moldy old bottle in the basement. Orange juice. Champagne. It was fermented frothy orange juice. No. Gloopy yellow champagne. I think I'm going to be sick. Let's take a closer look. Which one of you is Oliver? Here. Ha ha. Ollie's always first. First in losing, maybe, blockhead. Oh, man. O-L-L-I. Ollie is the toughest guy. <laughs> Came up with a champ for his own name. What are we going to do now? I'm going to have to give you an injection. Whoa, what? No way. Needles are totally lame. He's scared. Look, he's shaking. I'm so not shaking. Come on, Doc. Let's get this over with. Please hold still for a moment. Find the spot where the blue vein is closest to the surface of the skin. Place the syringe E there. Hold E afterwards to draw the right amount of blood or administer correct dose of medication. So it's probably going to be that one. Let's double check. Right here. Oh! I messed up. Oh! I messed up. How was I supposed to know when? Okay, I'll treat your brother better. Alright, all done. Look, I didn't even feel a thing. Piece of cake. <laughs> Face it, I'm just really brave. They probably gave you a kitty and oh, no, I, I kind of did because I messed up. That's no sweat. I can do it too. Okay, so you must be Rudy, right? I'm gonna give you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give you exactly the same treatment. Here we go. on the other side. What? Okay. 
Otherwise, that's the closest one. Oh, I guess they're always not as super close. Ugh. Oh. Same letter. Oh my God. I shook less than Ollie, didn't I, Doc? Liar! Come on, Doc. You know I was the best. Whatever it was you drank, it's infected you with bacteria. Sigelia, this is no joke. Yeah. Shigelia, fight! No. No Shigelia fight. This is serious. You've got a disease called Shige Sh Shigelosis? Shigelosis, which can get really nasty. Both of you are still contagious. We're going to need to implement hygiene and safety precautions to make sure no one else on the ward catches your disease. But I've got more shigeliosis than Ollie, right? Have not. Have too. Your diagnosis is exactly the same, Rudy. Ha! Boys! Yes? Yes? Forget it. And they're just running all over the hospital right now. God, these boys are gonna die. Oi, Finley. Hey, Carl, how's it going? Pretty, pretty well, actually. People are sleeping well today. Sandra and I even had time for a round of UCT. UCT? Urine cup toss. Is that a thing? Sure, or even national tournaments. It's a big deal in the nursing community. Sandra and I are on Team Ursula. We've been training. It's on. It's one of those things you really, you can only really do at night. But that's not what I came here for. Your razor sharp senses have probably already told you this, but Krakowski isn't here tonight. Thanks to the outstanding seamless planning of the work rota, rota there's actually no ward supervisor here at all tonight. As the most senior person here, that leaves me in charge of most of the tasks that Dr. Krakowski gets back on shift tomorrow. That doesn't sound so bad. It sure isn't. However, it does mean that I need you to sign off on all of your treatment outcomes. That's a pain. A thankless task. You won't win many friends that way, you know. Alright, let's get this over with. B-star. Well, what can I say? All very solid. Not incredible, but not disastrous either. I'd say you're doing pretty well for a rookie. I'll put in a good word with Krakowski. Try and score you some points with her. So, how was that? Did I sound like Dr. Krakowski? I feel weird. <laughs> it's okay, Carl. Don't worry about it. This was so much nicer than the lectures I get from Dr. Krakowski. Hee <laughs> All right. I think the rest of the night will be a quiet one. Put your feet up a little. Try to relax. We'll do another quick round before the end of the shift. Then that's it. Okay. Don't know why it let me go all the way. Ooh. I don't want the patient patients think I'm sick myself. I'll end up getting pain everywhere. Oh, queen! Second shower. Wash all the paint off Finley's face. Hey, what's up? E excuse me. Can someone help me, please? There's water dripping through the ceiling. I'm all wet. That's coming from room P31. Is that Irma? I better check it out. Uh oh, something spoopy's happening. 
Oh, what in the Irma? What's going on here? You're soaked to the bone. There you are. I don't know. I was just lying here and suddenly my blanket was wet. Believe you me, I was quite a, it was quite a relief when I realized it wasn't my fault. I thought I was really getting decrepit. <laughs> Goodness, it feels like that time our, our waterbed burst. It was little Guiano's birthday and he wanted a pirate birthday. I had no idea he was going to wake us up early wearing his pirate costume. Those toy pirate hooks were pretty sharp back in the day, you know. Oh, hold on, let me push you out of the way here. I'm so sorry about this. We'll take care of it right away. Then we'll get you some new clothes and an extra cozy blanket. What's going on here? Carl, it's raining from the ceiling. I can see that. Let's go upstairs and see where the water's coming from. What about Irma? Holy hot pot. What's going on here? Sandra, good to see you. I thought you guys were having a party. Can you take care of Miss De Mrs. DeCalma? She's in urgent need of fresh clothes and bedding. Sure, no problemo. I was just about to anyway. Finley, we need to fetch Gregor... Gregor or Greg... What was his nickname? Greggy? We need to fetch Greggy and let him know. He's been working on the fourth floor ward all day. Let's try there first. All right. Irma, someone's going to come and take care of you right away, okay? Thank you. It's getting a little chilly under this gown. You guys head upstairs. I'll take care of the patient. Luckily, we've got a free bed in 303. Thanks, Sandra. Come on, Finley. Let's go check upstairs. Okay, we better hurry. I didn't bring my swimming shorts. Interesting. It'll work. Right when I was going to maybe get off, something exciting started happening. Oh! What? There's water in one of the patient's rooms. You don't say, kid. Last I checked, they weren't building a swimming pool on this floor. Don't you think we need to find the cause of it? I'm on it, kid. But if you want to help, go up floor. To the fifth floor? But it's locked and closed off. Here's the key. Use this to unlock the door at the top of the staircase. Just don't tell Fieldbald, okay? I'm in enough trouble with him as it is. You go on ahead. I'll be there in a minute. I like how they're just like not saying anything. Alright, let's see what's going on up here. Let's see what all the hullabaloo is. Oop. And now we're getting somewhere actually good. What's the matter? Nothing. Everything's okay. What are you waiting for then? I'm not waiting for anything. You're not scared, are you? No, I'm not scared. It's just the last time I was up here, I had that accident. That's right. But this time, I'm here. I'll look out for you. It's just an ordinary hospital ward. Except for the smell, maybe. Yeah, you're right. It's just the ward. Like all the others. All right, then. Let's go and see where the water comes from. Oh, my God. It's so loud. We have to, there's only the one way to go. There's water here already. I just really like how shiny it is. Okay. More water. This is where the thing fell on me. Door I can't go in. Here it goes. Carl, look up there. The pipes burst. I can see that. And I can feel it too. My clothes are already soaked. How could something like this happen? 
the whole pipe's basically turned to rust. Well, you've seen for yourself how dangerous it gets up here. This ward's ruined now. Maybe it really was for the best to just shut it down. What a mildew-infested dump. I've said it time and time again, but no one listens to old Gregor, do they? Even though he's the one who has to handle it every time. Have you seen it, Gregor? Yeah, the heating pipes bust. Hold on. Old Gregor doesn't have it easy. Old Ursula has been through a lot over the last few decades. I do what I can. But I can't be everywhere all at once. That's a great movie. <laughs> but when I'm not there, no one takes care of the old lady. And I want the old lady to be alright. Even if I don't have the resources. Or the time. Or the back of a 20 year old. As long as old Gregor is still standing, Ursula will too. Alright? Oh, Glenny. That was his nickname. Thank you, Mr. Glendower. Don't be so dramatic, you old fart. I'll be on my way then. I'll have to look at the pipe over the next few days. Right now, I got other things to do. Sounds like the hospital is important to him. Could be, I guess. You're pretty hard on him. Why not? We've had our share of arguments. He's never around when you need him. I can't rely on him. Take today, for instance. Who found the broken pipe? We did. Who arranged for repairs when the elevator got stuck? We did. Well, I did. You did. All that old fart has to do is slap some tape on it, and it's all good. Mm, if you say so. Everything okay? I don't know. I feel funny. What do you mean? Are you sick? No, but I haven't been up here since the accident. So? Well, everything's gone. The desk, the blood, the eerie noises. What are you talking about? Do you even remember what happened? Yeah, I do, but wait. How do you know what happened? I was the one who found you up here. Really? Yeah, you and old Anders. And you didn't see anything out of the ordinary? Well, two bleeding and unresponsive people lying on the floor isn't exactly what I'd call ordinary. I was looking for... I said Anders, didn't I? His name is so hard. Arndez. Arndez. I was looking for Arndez. Then I heard a bang, so I rushed up here straight away. I actually thought you couldn't get up here anymore, but it looks like I was wrong. You two clearly managed it. I dragged you both to the door. Then Dimmy and Archie helped me carry you. You're lucky they happened to be in the stairwell. They were looking to grab a cup of coffee. For someone so small, you're pretty heavy, you know that? Did you see anything else? Was there anyone else here? Finley. It was just the two of you. Half buried under a load of boxes. I promise. Why would I lie to you? This ward's a disaster area. That's why it was shut down a few years ago. Now it's just for storage. Everyone dumps their junk here. No one really looks after it. It was only a matter of time before somebody got hurt. Mr. Arndez ended up here by mistake. He was very confused. He pulled out his drip and then merrily started bleeding all over the place. He probably tripped over his own tubes and or bumped his head. And when you went after him, the whole pile of junk collapsed in on itself. Oh, man. Yeah, it was quite a mess. Want to head back downstairs? Uh, 
Yeah, in a minute. I've got one more question. What happened here? Why is the ward closed? Look at it. It's a huge ward. We could use the space. <sighs> St. Ursula has a long history. This used to be the internal one. Oh, <clears throat> this used to be the internal one, our ward. I spent my first few years at the hospital up here. That was a long time ago. At some point, they realized the damp was getting into the walls. Hospital management decided to close the ward. The staff even held a vote, and most of us were in favor. They said they'd fix it up again once they had the money. As you can see, that hasn't happened yet. Hmm. I see. Do you think they'll ever get the ward up and running again? It'd be a shame if they just left it here to rot. Well, I wouldn't bet on it. We've basically gotten used to it over the years. And it gives folks a place to dump their old junk. Hmm. Can we go back downstairs now? I've still got a few more things to do today. Sun's gonna come up soon, too. Uh, yeah. Let's go. Oh! And Carl? What now? I... Thanks for hauling me back down from here after the accident. That must have been hard work. You bet your sweet butt it was. You're lucky I'm such an athlete. <laughs> nah, man. There's something odd about this ward. Was it fifth floor, right? Oh, I'm done? Oh, it doesn't let me. Interesting. Interesting. Oh. Morning there. Rough night? Good morning. Just finished my first night shift. Guess I'm not quite used to it yet. Ah, the old all night drinkathon, eh? I don't do that anymore. I need my sleep. Me too. Now, I'm gonna go lie down. You do that. I'll keep watch out here. Don't want the postwoman or the garbage collector disturbing your rest. But before that... I was kind of worried it wasn't going to let me go. You're still not here. Hmm. And this is, yeah, it's still closed. Makes you wonder where the bus is. Like, it's literally just like a local route, just like up and down the town. Which then begs the question why you don't run? <laughs> why you not run, boss? The people need to get to, they need to go where they need to go, you know? Mm -hmm. Kind of weird you're outside my house, but okay. See you tomorrow. Not much we can do. Okay, almost all the boxes are unpacked. But I still need to do a few chores. The way things have been, I'll never get around to doing it during the week. Weird. Why am I excited about having time to clean? Times change, I guess. Ooh. Oh, you don't look so good. Maybe you just need a nice long drink. Wait here, I'll take care of it. <laughs> there we go. 
tap doesn't work. It was like that when I moved in. I made a call and they told me the downspout was clogged. My landlady promised she'd take care of it. She just didn't say when. Oh well, I'll just have to take a cup with me. Better get the water from the bathroom. I don't want that goo coming up out of the drain again. And a classy drink requires a classy receptacle. My patient super panted super plant cocktail. Ingredients are water. Yep, that's it. Okay. One Finley special super mega plant cocktail coming right up. Fresh from the tap. Bon appetit. Just make sure you get a taxi home, okay? Good morning, sunshine! Are you ready for a super, super awesome day out? Sure am. Just gotta... F I've just finished my chores. You literally did not do anything except water your plant. Chores? I thought it was your day off today. It is, but I'll never find time otherwise. Are you remembering to water the plants? Yep, just took care of that. Promise? Yes. You better not be lying to me. I can sense when my plants are dehydrated. I'm still holding the glass in my hand. You use a glass to water your plant? Sure, what's wrong with that? My plants only get the best water from the finest vessels. My watering can costs as much as my car. You don't think you're maybe exaggerating a bit? Maybe. But it was really, really expensive. Anyway, I'm all packed and ready to go. Why don't you come over to my store? Then we'll head out. What are we going to be doing? I'll tell you when we get there. Just tell me. I can't hear you. Come on. I think there was no signal. <laughs> I wish I could take this red thing, whatever this is, off. It's bothering me. I guess that doesn't work. All right. I think that's a pretty good stop, uh, place to stop for the day. Ugh, we've done lots with the town and had something weird happen and say hi to our friend. Sleep well? Spare a few cents for me? Hi, hold on a sec. Thank you, you're my number one customer, you know that? Goodness, I'll feel you're shivering from the cold. I lost my hat. A gust of wind snatched it away and it, off it flew. No idea where it is. I'll keep my eyes open. Maybe your hat will blow towards me somewhere. That would be a dream. I've really grown fond of that old lid. Do you have any idea where it could be? Mm, not really, but it's quite windy downtown. Maybe the hat just wanted to go shopping. Why would a hat want, what would a hat want to buy? Hmm, hard to say. Maybe it wants me to use a different shampoo. Or maybe it wants me to use shampoo at all. Maybe it's just having a coffee. Or it's at the bakery. A hat does what a hat wants to do. But yeah, I think that's where we're going to call it for today. I still have a bunch of things I need to do around the house. And it's already 2.30, so... It was nice. Little morning stream, morning afternoon stream. Let's go see if our friendly fisher person's down here. <gasps> oh, they are! Oh! Finley, good to see you. How are things at St. Ursula's? Um, good? Really? 
You sound uncertain, my friend. It's just... Well, every day there's new patients and all kinds of new problems. Sometimes it's like a constant stream that doesn't seem to let up. Well, I don't know much about hospitals and things of that nature, but streams... I spent a lot of time considering streams. The stream of consciousness? The stream of consciousness. Exactly. You know, Finley, if a twig positions itself in the middle of the river and tries with all its might to hold back the flow, the current will simply snap in, wash it away. Yeah, sure. But if it remains flexible, and settles down by the shore, like the reeds by the river here, then our twig is able to coexist with the current. It'll never stop the stream, but nor is that its purpose. I don't know why, but that thought calms me. It really does. We have a special tradition here in Porcupine. When you see it, you'll know what I mean. It always reminds me that we're all made of nothing but twigs. All too easy to break. <laughs> well, now you sound like my medical professor. But you're right. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind, Frank. Wow. That was pretty wholesome. That was cute. I like that. Just a twig in the river. We'll let, if we let it, the stream will snap us clean broken. <laughs> Yee. This was fun. I mean, I think the beginning of a game is always going to be a little slow to start, right? Like with anything. Ah, shows, movies, you know, etc. So. I'm excited to see where this game goes, especially with that curious uh, fifth ward, fifth floor ward. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for me today. How do I... S does that save? Can I save just like this? I'm just going to quit my game. Maybe I'll get to the spot so it's easier to get to next time. Um, yeah, so I'll be back tomorrow. Um, I'll try to be back here by the morning as well. I think I was on by what, like 11 or so? I'll try to be on by 10 tomorrow. And yeah, um, I don't know if we'll play this game tomorrow or if we'll play a different one. Maybe this one, just because I'm digging the story. Holy macaroni! Wah! What's wrong? You scared the living daylights out of me. Oh, I I'm sorry about that. But you gave me a pretty good scare right back. Don't take this personally, but I gotta run. Oh, oh, okay. Later. <laughs> Is that me? <laughs> this game did give me tons of frights. Old alligator dude. What is this trash? What do you mean? You've got my eyes, haven't you? Look at it. My father would have given me a beating for wearing something like that. Oop. You mean the clothes in the store window? Bah. Okay. just leaves her. <laughs> there you are. Sleep well? Like a wet log. Wet? A water pipe burst during my night shift. Ah, Mother Nature will restore your strength. I can already hear her call. Let's go. Just a minute. All right, take your time. Well, maybe not too long. The days are getting shorter after all. Okay. 
I just want to see if there's anything else. Hmm. Okay. We're going to do a little bit more exploring, and then we'll go back, head to the woods, and then we'll leave. I wonder if I could go inside. Oh, no. This is going to end up by the houses again. I'm kind of curious. <sighs> I mean, you know what they say. Curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> Hopefully not the pigeon, though. Can I read that? Okay. Looks like a little note on that light pole. The secrets of porcupine. Porcupine secrets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. School sucks. <laughs> this one's good. I like this one. Wow, those are super colorful. I just want to see what this place looks like during the day. To be honest. So this is the back of the school? Oh, Maggie's here. You're here every day, aren't you? What are you doing here all day? Hmm, not much, really. Christo says we're here for skating, but he's just sitting around all day. Many believe that this is what skating is all about. Ha. School always looks kind of empty. There aren't that many children in Porcupine. Most people here are older. That's why there isn't much to do for us around here. And I think skating is bore or and I think skating is boring. What would you like to do? Good question. I like stories. I always I always love to write. And I love to come up with a story one day. Maybe for a comic or something like that. I could collect comics, but Crystal really isn't into them. Well, do you have any ideas? Sure thing! Haha. <laughs> Do you want to tell me about your ideas for your comic? No, they're really bad. Come on, I'd love to hear them. It's not even finished yet. Maybe I can help you. When I was young, I'd always make up stories. Really? So you're like a writer? Mm, sure, something like that. Even if I'm too busy procrastinating on my PhD thesis, <laughs> thesis right now. Whoa. Okay. So, do you really want to hear about my idea? Sure. Go on. Okay. So, the story is set on a distant planet. And it's about a brave, strong, super cool heroine. She can do all kinds of stuff. And she's just the coolest. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so that's it? Yeah, I told you it wasn't finished yet. What do you think? You like my story? I could be better. It's pretty bad. It's not much yet. I'm sick. I'm sick. That could be better. It's pretty bad. It's not much yet. I hate all of these. I'm sick. I'm si Why do you say that? It's not much yet. That could be better. It's pretty bad. It's not much yet. It's not bad for the beginning. Really? You think so? Yeah, sure. Do you want us to brainstorm your story together? Sure thing. Excellent. So first we need a name for the planet. The story begins on a distant planet called... Hmm... Maggie-topia. Maggie-topia. What do you think of Flintopia? Porcoon. How about Porcoon 8? I think Ursus. Ursus is pretty cool. Ursus is pretty cool. Yeah, that's so much cooler. Hey, you're really a writer. <laughs> 
Next, the heroine needs a name. Any ideas? Mm, how about Magath Magatha? Magatha. She's strong and tall and brave, and she has many friends. Magatha, sure thing. There has to be a better name. Do you have any other ideas? Well, that's mean. Magatha. I can feel it. It's as if I've known her for years already. I'm getting goosebumps. Yay! It's gonna be awesome! Magatha! The savior of Ursus. <laughs> it already feels so much more real. But oh man, being a writer is so hard. Do you want to leave it for now? Yeah, I think I need a creative break. I'll sleep on it for a while and think about my story. Do you come here often? Brainstorming was fun. You could be my co-author. I'd love to. I'll come by as soon as I find the time. Awesome. See you on round two. This is going to be the best comic ever. <laughs> I'm sure of it. <laughs> so fun. All right. We'll head back to the lady. Finally go on our our hike, I guess. <laughs> and then we'll go. I do think that planet name is a bit cooler. Definitely. Definitely cooler. Okay, well. Uh, mm. Trying to think. Do we play this game tomorrow? Because we could do Coral Island tomorrow. I mean, hmm. I really need to think about it. What to do? So I also have a Fay Farm I haven't touched in a while. I haven't played uh, Palia in a super long time. Maybe we could play that tomorrow. And then maybe we won't play it as long and then maybe we'll play it, end up playing something else. <gasps> Who knows, darling? Who knows? Alright, let's get back to our friend. Our friend. There you are. <gasps> Yay, fasten your seatbelt. Woohoo! Yay, here we go. Ah, the smell of pine needles, fresh air, sunshine. Everything a person needs. True, but it also makes this person hungry. You don't have any snacks, do you? Maybe. And a little work, too. Over the weekend? In the woods? Of course. The woods don't take weekends, you know. And as a florist, the countryside is my office. I thought this was going to be a fun trip. It will be. You said you wanted to show me something. What is it? You'll see. You've lived in Porcupine for close to a month now. The time has come. Time? Time for what? Peanut? The weather forecast said there'll be thunderstorms today. We'd better hurry. You go on ahead. That's part of the tradition. But I don't even know where to go. There aren't that many paths. And if you're too slow, I'll take the lead. Let's go! <laughs> All right.
then that, my dear friends, is where I'm going to call it for today. Thank you again for everyone who stopped by. Jer, Josh, Nick, Odd, aka T, and anyone lurking around in the background. It's always lovely to be here, lovely to play, be some sort of entertainment, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, today is Tuesday. I have to remind myself today is Tuesday, it's not Monday. Uh, we'll be back. We'll stream every single day, except yesterday, of course. So we'll be back tomorrow. We might play this. Maybe we'll play Palea. Palea. Oh, however you pronounce it, I don't remember anymore. Um, yeah, maybe. I don't know. There's so much we can do. So much we can play. I have so many games. They might be old, but I could play them. <laughs> but yeah, that'll be it. Thank you so much for stopping by today. It was lovely to be here. I hope you have a wonderful day, night, afternoon, morning, afternoon. Wait, I said that already. Day. Good tomorrow. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. I'll leave it at that. Thank you again for showing up today. And yeah, that will be it. Have a wonderful life. <laughs> and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye for now to you, my friends. Goodbye for now until we meet again. It's been great to play and sing together in the box. But now it's time to say goodbye. Do -do -do. <laughs> All right. For real, Jesus, though, have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you back tomorrow morning. Yeah, we'll do something. I'll figure it out. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye, 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 goodbye.